The deeper and deeper I go, I find what it is I should know. Cause it's just a matter of time that you'll reawaken your mind. Oh, come with me, come to know and find out what is true. Then you'll know what's in store just for you. No more living the lie. I can look to the sky and say I'm reawakening minds. Come to know and find out what is truth, yes. Then you'll know what's in store just for you. No more living the lie. I can look to the sky and say I'm reawakening minds. Happy Holy Day, Moors, and welcome to House of Reawakening Minds. House of Reawakening Minds exists to provide for the exploration and practice of spirituality in an enlightened community dedicated to honoring the myriad of sacred pathways to the universal creator. We are a holistic center for spiritual grounding, free thought, self-discovery, and more science an awakening experience for all ages. Tonight is a very special night. Many of you have been waiting for, as have I. Two powerhouses together on the same platform. Longtime master teacher of Moorish Science Civics, Grand Sheik Tashtar McVeigh, and the other who came on the scene in the course of time at the behest of Big Mama to set the record straight and prepare the way for our redemption, Brother Rod Hayes. I am pleased to present them both to you in what I titled, Where's the Beat? Seriously, there is none. However, before we bring them on, please make sure to like, share, let somebody know we're on, and subscribe to our channel. Now, I want you to sit back and kind of be a fly on the wall with this candid conversation between these two great men. I'd like to welcome to House of Reawakening Mind, our national grand Sheik Taj Tariq Bey and Brother Rod Hayes. I'll be your moderator. Well, thank Islam. You. Islam, Islam, Islam. 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 <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to um, the official House of Reawakening Mind. I am so pleased to have the both of you together on this platform. Of course, um, both of you don't go without controversy of some sort. Um, Grand Sheik, for years and years, you have been um, bringing us the, um, the truth and the knowledge about nationality and birthright and you know reversion of the states and all kinds of information that you've been bringing us. And Brother Rod, um, relatively newer based on the number of years. He's an old soul. I, well, okay, but he's we didn't know about soul. He's an old soul who was incognito uh, yeah. until, uh, you know, a specific time. So I personally, I'm glad to have you both on. I'm sure our, um, our viewers, you know, whether you're watching this live or they're going to be watching this in replay, um, they're looking to, you know, see, if, you know, they, some of them think there is beef because of, you know, nationality, you know, versus not needing to nationalize or paperwork versus no paperwork. What Grand Sheik has been saying for years and Brother Rod, what you have been saying yeah. for, for years. So, you know what? I'm just going to let y'all go because y'all been chatting a little bit. I'm just kind of I'm going to moderate. I'm going to pay attention to the uh -huh. chat. And hey, welcome. So I, I want to start with giving a little background on how I came across Tides about 20 something years ago. I was locked up and um, I was studying with Moors while I was in there, but I wasn't a member of the Moors Sciences. But it was a couple of Moors that pulled me to the side and said, if you want the real uh, civics, you have to study Tides, right? So out at the time, I'm like, who the hell is Taj? So I started studying, going back. They was giving me old cassette tapes from him from the early 80s. And he was back then explaining civics 
from the understanding of more science, and which is basically the fundamentals to running the government while we was under a contract, right? So I listened to him over the years in different platforms is repeating itself, right? But everything he's saying is consistently the same while studying civics, right? So when they ask me uh, about Moors, I say, I'm not a Moor, but when I study Moors science, I give you three people that I re recommend you to. Taj Tariq Bay, C. Freeman Hill, and Hakeem Bay. And then they'll say, well, why did you pick them? I say, the best civics instructor I came across, which tells you how to navigate this contract we under, is Taj Tariq Bay. He understand the fundamental mechanisms that comes with being under a foreign jurisdiction that's not even supposed to be here. But Taj don't know when the contract in. Mm -hmm. I know when the contract in. So when we get to a certain point, he's still teaching civics. Civics is necessary for any people who want to be autonomous and self-sufficient, right? I'm here to give Taj his opportunity to live his happily ever after because he didn't put in his work. He got the track record to prove it, right? And then he got the a equal opposition from the dirty moors that Noble Jew Ali had, right? So Noble Jew Ali left signs and symbols for a conscious man. So some of the people that see a beef with being Taj is unconscious because Noble Drew Ali flipped me a Moorish picture that's a mirror image of Taj, but nobody else would recognize it but me or another one of the chiefs on the land. He also left a message tied to my birthday, which is tied to my birthright in the Circle 7 that tell me when it's time to clean this up, you need Angel Bay. I'm like, who the hell is Angel Bay? And lo and behold, it's Jeff Ford, who was neutralized by COINTELPRO because he was an effective leader from the land, on the land, with a claim to the land. So the only way to keep him from exercising his jurisdiction and ending the contract, because the contract, they never honored a single part of their contract but they are holding us to honor the contract we can dissolve the contract through non-performance because they filed multiple bankruptcies and still haven't performed the function of government that they've promised but only one of the chiefs that's organic to the land from the land have both the blood right and the birthright to overthrow these people this is where we at now C. Freeman mm -hmm. Hill, on the other hand, teaches metaphysics and how to read the signs and symbols from a more standpoint. This is his instructions from Noble Drew Ali back uh, over 100 years ago. Yep, that's right. Right? Absolutely right. Hakeem Bay is teaching the indigenous organic connection to the ones who were incorporated in the contract as Moors who was uh, misled into signing a contract that the people never had an intention of honoring. Exactly right. Right? So now I come along with the birthright, the blood right to the land with the instructions from my mom and my big mama to assert the claim of a superior jurisdiction over the de facto corporation occupying our land as a hostile force. Yep. Right. So everything that I've done up to this point has been to reclaim our position as the du jour in law. Right. And the only way to do that now is to alert the people that I've made all of the necessary claims for the restoration of our people. This is our Juneteenth celebration ceremony where we running around trying to tell our people Cut them people off. We already won. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, that and is so, absolutely correct. 
and, 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 and for people who don't understand, first of all, I'm going to say, I'm so glad to see you, good brother, <laughs> family, brother, cousin, everything. And I'm so glad that you heeded the call of the divine order of our ancestors through Big Mama. And, and as soon as I started hearing you talking about the matriarchy, I knew you was a cleaner. And I wish we had more, but I'm just, I was so glad to see you because so many people I've met across the land and many of people I've talked to in other political jurisdictions from China, from Japan, from Denmark, from Germany, from Eritrea, from uh, what's that, Ecuador. Uh, uh, ambassador sent a couple people from Ecuador. Uh, the ambassador sent a couple people from Palestine a few years back. I've talked to many, many people. But when I saw you and I heard you speak, I said, uh-huh, mm-hmm, he's a cleaner. That's why when I did the last lecture, when I ended the lecture, I said, Adul. And some people said to me, what do you mean when you said Adul when you closed out the lecture? Adul means justice. And the symbol of a Jew, of a duel is a two-edged sword. And I said, that's right. <laughs> because it's true. Now, I recognize it. I don't care what nobody says. I recognize as soon as I saw, I didn't have to hear too much. All I needed to hear was the sincerity of the vibration in your voice. And when you talked about the matriarchy, I said, Whoo, about time. I ain't complaining, but about time. Thank you. Ain't that what Noble Drew Ali said when we come to up here? Because that's what it's supposed to be. The that's same what... thing, the same thing that uh um uh Clock of Destiny, um Charles Mosley Bay said the same thing. Because of their fallen humanity, which is the fallen matriarchy. That's why Drawali got got the mother. Because you, you know, and this is why a lot over the years, when I told people that Allah is a feminine name, a feminine attribute, it is dealing with the matriarchy on a major cosmo scale. They would get insulted. But I didn't care. But I'm glad to, to have a brother come up that got the guts to tell the truth and don't care what people say. Because we ain't got enough of them to defend the matriarchy. So as soon as I as soon as I heard you talking to matriarchy, I said, uh-huh. Now we ready. Now back to another thing where a lot of people don't really get it. And I would always tell people, as you already know, for years, a lot of things we're doing now will not be doing later. And this is so that the people wouldn't get stuck. But I knew from the day, from the beginning, and although I would tell people in different forms at different times, not only did they breach the contract uh, uh, in the later years, they breached from the beginning. However, the people kept calling them their government, my senator, my pre they, we have They have no relationship to us in that sense, only obligations. And even though there are de facto shakuns who made a treaty with them, the implied existence of an obligation was pressed upon us when we actually had no party in it. And you know, and I knew that number one, culturally, we could never sell the land. That's it's number one. Lot. So any transfers that they were claiming was fraudulent. Problem we had is that our people kept giving it validity. And so I would pre present issues to them that always prove that as soon as you present an issue of truth, you would start getting countermeasures coming from them and coming from people on our side who pretended to be caring about our people. But in doing so, they would be exposing themselves. I already knew their contract was dead. The contract was dead before it began. However, 
it only lives because the heirs kept believing in them. The same way the heirs keep believing in the priesthood, not knowing that the priesthood are part of the issue, part of the problem. And, and, and the people don't know that both the politicians, the clergies, the imams, and the rabbis, and many of the sheiks, and many of the shakums are part of a network and operate together against the interests of the Aboriginal people. And so this is why over the years, to counter the, uh, the bottomry instruments that the hybrid Europeans and the United States Corporation Company operating uh, from da Davos, Switzerland, and also from uh, um, Austria, etc., that they were using on the stock market, if I could get the people to start putting instrumentalities into the public domain that would counter them or would be claiming their state, it would start messing with the stock market. And it would stop, start messing with all of the instrumentalities that they created under the 14th Amendment fiction of wardship status that they had our people in. And at the same time, every time they would counter or reject or try to dismiss, it would show the people that they were belligerent faux for operations. And so we uh, always promoted for people to go into the ancient and the modern jurisprudence in order to recognize both the terms and the legalities and making the distinction between legal operations and lawful operations so that the people could start uh, thinking critically, which, which you already know our people have long since stopped thinking critically. They think on emotions, on belief systems, which were, which they don't know is MK Ultra and uh, animal husband retraining set up by John D. Rockefeller and Frederick T. Gates after they murdered Winona here over here at Shakamoxon territory on Lincoln Drive, et cetera. And then they start making their claims along the eastern coastline. But anyway, on that point, this is why I always told them a lot of things we're doing now will not be doing later because I already knew when the time comes that the people got conscious that not only was the contract dead, they were never obligated to it. It had no part with us. The only obligation part is the obligation of Article 3, Section 2, and Article 6, where the treaties, if anything that was valid, that was their obligation superior to their operations here. And as soon as the people see they never honored that, what more do the people need to recognize that these people are absolutely de facto. However, with the recognition that all the shakums around the land and shakum, you know, we call shakum sheiks. So the shakums or the, chief, or the chiefs of the land, their obligations was to step up and speak up. However, I was um, kind of disappointed uh, relative to a lot of these so-called grand sheiks and a lot of these different brothers and sisters that was coming up along the way that knew those fundamental principles, and I won't name everybody, but I, I understood that when Il Malik or, or Malcolm began to recognize some of this stuff, you know, that had much to do with why they murdered him, because he would not sell out. And now I was, remember Malcolm wasn't murdered by no pale skin Europeans. Yeah. And um and I was disappointed recognizing persons who were put in place who were supposed to step up and do exactly what you said and what you're doing in the so-called, not the Moorish Science Temple of America, because that's a corporate side, the Moorish Holy Temple of Science. They were charged to step up, and they didn't. And we don't have to get into the Eisenhower administration. You know the multi-level stuff that took place there. Right. But even within that venue, when they relinquish jurisdiction at the Al Maghrib, so there the corporate the corporate Morocco was politically uh, relinquished, and therefore Al Maghrib or the organic people of the land had the right and the obligation to step up. Principle: When you uh, uh, stepped up and made what is called a reversion of a state, because this is the rule, and you know it, and I know it, and I'm so I'm, I don't have to tell you because you already know but for the people who are listening. Because when you're dealing with trust, 
or you're dealing with inheritance. You're dealing with generational issue of obligation. The operation of an interregnum government or occupational government, which is temporary, is to preserve and protect the estate until such said competent heir speaks up. They must be public. It can't be secret. It must be transparent. However, the assumptions that a lot of people have that you got to have some title or that somebody got to tell you this or that, no, it's got to come divinely. And the greatest divine gate that we have here in the physical form at Midgard is your mother. And when you start talking to matriarchy and you spoke up in law, in principle of law, because really any anyone with the right of blood could have done it. They failed to do it. Because you did it, that came from divine. And when it was presented to you and you accepted your obligation, etc., it is valid. The other issue is, do the shakums around the land whose obligation is to that support? And that's what we are to do at this point on. Because it is said, mo, so, mote it be. I relieve, I relieve the floor. <laughs> so one of the things Ray Hagen say about us and our thinking is called uh, paralysis of analysis. Yeah. Right. Well, it's not just enough to have the blood and the right. You got to have the knowledge of the application of the blood right. Yes. Right. So then um, having a, a good understanding of civics is the first order of business that was given to us by Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Yes. Get you a good Moorish education, get you a good civics education. Right. And in the process of learning these things, he said he was going to lead these people in power long enough for us to learn what? Government. How to run a government. Yes. And how many more did he say was going to make it? He can count them on one hand. A handful. He, fingers left. he said a handful. Mm hmm And, and he said, said, be careful because your own brother will sell you into slavery. Didn't he say that? Exactly. Right? So we had to be cautious. We had to talk to each other without being able to be in the same room at the same time. Yes. So we talk through the signs and through the symbols. Yes. Some people take the dogma to be the doctrine, but the doctrine is concealed in the dogma. Mm -hmm. Morals and dogma, says Albert Pike, was the manner by which they would rule us. They would undermine Jacobin, Yakub, Jacob undermine our morals by replacing them with dogma. Yes. Right? So, Noble Drew Ali said, beware of a religious controversy. Yes. Religious controversy is predicated upon arguing dogma. Yes. All religions are dogmatic because they are social control mechanisms and has nothing to do with the spiritual development of people. Yes. They're called the three S's. Social solace systems. Right. So now I gain enough sufficient knowledge to meet the challenge of knowing the date that the contract is going to close. Why do I know the date? Because I got the blood and the right to establish the date. Exactly. And when I established the date, I had a knockback receipt from the Republican Party honoring that. <laughs> when they when they on July the fourth they did a uh, an inaugural uh, debate with no flags. Yes, and a blue back. How many people didn't pay attention to that? That's my job. Yes, that's my job. Yeah, a blue background. I'm from the blue house. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm a growth and development baby. Mm -hmm. I'm a brain banger spun off Larry Hoover's um, family tree. Mm -hmm. Right. I've been tested and put through the fire by Chief Malik Angel Bay soldiers on the street. They still there to tell the story. Because in order to establish the blood right, all of the chiefs had to send somebody to examine me. Yes. And then they had to pass and prove me. So when the bikers made the truce 
with Angel Bay and Larry Hoover, none of the regular people know it. But I had to be approved by bikers to be the redeemer of the family tree. Yes. I can't redeem the blue side without redeeming the red side because that's my mama's side. Yes. Right? My father's side is the blue side. Mm-hmm. Right? So when the blue got flipped to the red, I became my mama's right-hand man. So when they asked me where I come from, I proceed and come forth from the right hand of God. That's right. Ain't no dispute about it. Now go pick up your book and find out where I'm supposed to come from. Right. So Big Mama gave me a mission to leave no stone unturned. Each stone represents one of the priestesses or princesses on the land. I got to find them. Right. I got to know who the grand matriarch on the land is. Mm -hmm. Because I got to tell everybody who she is. That's their kind wife. She got the blood in the right. She got the most matriarchs under her direct call. Well, you already know the rule is, the rule is, uh, it has nothing to do with ego, which you already know. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the natural response of respect from the women around her in numbers, and they will demonstrate it in general. And, and those women we call MGTGCC. And it has to be, it, yes, it has to be a natural response. It can't be artificial. Right. And yeah. that is how the matriarchs establish how to tie back into the vein or the main family line. Right. So the MGT, Muslim Girl Trainers, they are the ones that offer the GCC, the General Civilization Class. Mm-hmm. What you mean general civilization? Elijah Muhammad was teaching these women how to raise a nation, not how to raise a baby. Exactly. And that's the difference. Because, because nation, and this is for the people, nation, nativity, nationality, nacio, means to be born, to come into life. That's the relationship. So when we're talking nationality, we're not talking paperwork. We're talking honor of your mother, honor of your inheritance, claim of your inheritance, right of inheritance, right of heritability and competent to claim your inheritance and your connection to law. That's land, air and water at Midgard. And so therefore, a competent heir must speak up to the belligerent fofers for the estate to be released. Other point which you have made and which we already knew that was actually long ago anyway, and it has, and, and, and this goes beyond the uh, fiction of, of, of George Washington, the ninth praetor for their corporation converting our Bonnevilles into their corporate states, stealing our estates, et cetera, selling out, et cetera, because you already know he had a little bit of Moorish blood in him anyway from well, the they, islands. They replaced the real George Washington with Albert Pike. They just yeah, took well, the you already know they're the same, the Technically, paint. they're about the same people. Mm -hmm. You know, they just removed the beard. Yeah. You know, but the deal of it is... Um, I just want to say this, and this is mainly for the people, because they really need to really comprehend where you're coming from. They think that there's a conflict. There's not a conflict. There's a level of understanding what has been said to you over the years from the beginning. You know, this is where the people don't know what a state is. They don't know what trust is. They don't know what governmental obligations are. They don't know what constitutions are. They don't know about Gishnawa, the great tree, where we always meet, uh, etc. They don't know that the principles that honor human rights, etc., that are, are peppered within that constitution came from us. That's not their stuff. They just use that instrument to claim authority, which they've never honored because it didn't come from them in the nature of everything. However, there's two keys in there that lock them in. That's why they never respected it. 
and it doesn't give us rights. It really puts obligations on them as fofers to preserve rights that already belong to us. And this is why when they had the ordinance of 1787 to formulate the republic form of government, they couldn't even operate unless they maintained a republican form. And with that republican form, they must honor the treaty superior. And then so even uh, the treaties that were even falsely uh, presented put obligations on them, which is why they've never respected them. And this is also why they never teach civics or real history or the wars or the tradings of the ancient Canaanites, et cetera, and Moabites, et cetera, and our travels across the waters for centuries, not a couple hundred years, for millennia. And they took over our trade routes and claimed them to be theirs, and it's really our stuff. Not only the material, even the trade routes. And so, uh, right, but someone had to speak up. Now, uh, Nova Drali spoke up in proper person. Now, here you come speaking up in proper person. You must be heir. You must have the blood. You must have the right of claim. And you must make that claim. You cannot be non-transparent. Except that, and, and at that point, that makes me the pretender to the throne. Exactly. Right? And as a pretender to the throne, the these corporate fictions. Okay, so now we, we have to explain the difference in nationality under admiralty law versus the law of the land. Because you gave them the law of the land. Now, the admiralty jurisdiction that we were artificially under, this is where the problem and the disconnect come in. Under them, when you are trying to become a national under under admiralty law, you fall under the jurisdiction, the uniform commercial code. Exactly. And becoming a national, national under the admiralty gives them the proof that they need that you are imbecile in law and therefore can't yes. manage on the state yes because this is we have to come from superior in jurisdiction interjection to, right in this order to why, what is inferior this is why people must know the distinction of what Juali did when he set up the morris holy temple of science civic organization distinguished from the morris science temple of america that is the corporate arm i.e under the admiral jurisdiction admiralty jurisdiction to make a countermeasure of uh who was that uh roosevelt using all of the people's birth certificates and uh marriage certificates etc to back their private debt after they went bankrupt again in 25 and covered up in 28 and then he adopted that religious affidavit as a political move that is not a divine move. That was a political move by necessity. And then people try to make that dogmatic position of arguing a religious argument for the Moors uh, 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 movement. The Moors movement is separate from the Moors Science Temple of, of America. The movement is for humanity. The movement is for the organic man, distinguished from the corporate venue or the corporate man. And I think a lot of people really still don't get it. But I'm, I'm glad and I'm grateful that you have the mind and the, 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 the critical will to speak up and make that clear to the people, because that is absolutely true. If you're going to talk about the organic people, you're talking about Maghrib al-Aqsa. If you're going to talk about the corporate venue, that's Morocco, et cetera. That venue is dead. That is only for the seas or for under what they call the Holy See. And we're not just talking about the water or admiralty law. We're talking about the Pope of Rome. And so the, the deal of it is someone had to speak up and dethrone their claim of unum sanctum, dum diversus, intercatera divina, uh, Apple bulls. Act, all the bulls. And all the bullshit that went with it. And I did that. And that's also recorded in the public domain. Exactly. See, I, I went after the, the, the three city states. And when uh, I overthrew the Vatican, um, 
this is when they started using a holographic pope. Yes. When I overthrew um, uh, the uh, Queen's Palace, excuse me, over in Europe, that's when the crest fell off the gate. It still ain't up there. Yes, and they talk about their remodeling. <laughs> and when I put the claim in for to reclaim the government, that was your June 6th episode when we had to put a land flag behind the admiralty flag at Pelosi's desk, which was the seat of political power for the corporation in order to claim the seizure of her ship that they claim we crashed into. Yes. Right? So we sent in somebody that looked like them, but he was trained by us. Yeah. He had to put it in the public domain that he was working for us, and he did that. Uh-huh. Right? Then he had to go in there with the flag with no fringe, stake the claim by staking the flag behind the desk and occupying the territory. Yes. It, it could be five minutes. We win. Mm hmm Right? So what did they do? They left with the podium. These are all political power moves being played out based on claiming the land and restoring the balance to nature according to the laws of nature in the orders of the grand matriarchs across the land. They all agree that they tired of the BS. They tired of going to babies' funerals. They tired of burying their daughters. They tired of daughters coming up missing, misused, neglected, and abused. They told me to do something about it. At, the time, they told me, at the time they told me, I don't know what the hell they talking about because I was three. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what they talking about, but I figured it out. And they tired of their woe races Wade babies being served at burger joints, making the people cannibals without telling them. Yep, and makeup. Don't forget the makeup. Yes. Right. So and hey, don't forget all of the placentas that they use for stem cell research without the permission of the mothers. Yes, and for them who like them blood rights, etc., you know, where's the beef? They didn't kill. They didn't kill just the other day, under the guise of global warming. They they actually slaughtered over twenty thousand heads of beef. And you can go back times and review on my page. I said this over a year ago. All GMOs have to go. All those bovine growth hormone infected beef has to go. We they they can't feed that to humans no more. Not on my watch. Right on. Thank you. Right. So now if you look around over the last two years and find out all these places they've been been destroying, that's food places, are GMOs and hormone-based production that's no yeah. longer going to be allowed. In Russia, uh, if people have been paying attention, those, those, those uh, uh, arch signs on all those uh, burger joints, they're taking them all down. And so a lot of the patterns for the other political venues around the world is being demonstrated from Russia. A lot of people don't know that the Wall, Wall Street has been seized. All of the play out of Wall Street now was being used to steer public opinion. Wall Street was seized for concealing and laundering trillions of dollars in human trafficking money. Yes. So... I already told them to seize Wall Street, but not just Wall Street. They got something called the International Stock Exchange mm -hmm. that trade globally. It yes. was also uh, this audited and discovered that they was laundering drug money, uh, illegal gun running, and human trafficking. So we seized that shit too. Yes. Right? When they was telling y'all that Russia was invading Ukraine, they was closing down laboratories that was making poison to kill us over here. Yes, absolutely true. And so all the time, they ain't telling you you're not watching the signs and symbols. Because when when the uh, um, Barbados flag came up, when yeah. they told you that the queen no longer has jurisdiction in Barbados, the Barbados flag waves the flag colors of Ukraine. Which tells yeah, Russia yeah, when yeah. to make the move. Yes. 
right? Now, Barbados got the trident, but um, Ukraine has the eagle in the form of the trident mm -hmm. as their symbol, right? Now, the flags go in two different directions. That means two different moves have to take place, one behind the other. Yes. Right? So now we following the science of flag studies, the yeah, law Vic, of the flag. Film. Right? Vic film. So yeah. right, now our people over here is totem pole people. Right? We totem pole and feathers people over here. Yeah. But the rest of the world is flag people. Mm -hmm. So even though we totem pole people, the responsibility of the chief is to know how to read the flag. And that's how you track the pirates to the Skull and Bone Society. And you track George Herbert Walker Bush um, to uh, the Senate Select Committee that gave him jurisdiction as King George I of the United States of America, as written by William Cooper, to be verified in Senate hearing documents, um, been behold a pale horse. Yes. Right. When he did that, the next following three presidents, he picked, handpicked them. His son, his adopted son, William Jefferson Clinton, and his adopted daughter, Hillary Rodham Clinton, the Killeries. Yeah. Right. Who was known for the drug running and trafficking in Arkansas before he was ever even considered for president. And the yep. CIA went on a massive cover up campaign, leaving a trail of bodies. Yes. To conceal the drug trafficking while they got Inga Bay and Larry Hoover sitting in prison so they can't exercise the rights over the land because you can't exercise the rights as a bond servant. Yes. So that's why when I gave them the order to release the political prisoners, I had to call Angel Bay by name. Mm -hmm. Right. And I had to call Larry Hoover by name. Right. I had to identify that Stan Tukley Williams wasn't executed, but he was put in cryostasis. Mm -hmm. So then I had to give him an order to thaw him out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but <clears throat> if they don't know the signs to read, then they don't know how to make all of these necessary claims to reestablish the, the, the de jure over the de facto. So yeah. when we overthrowing the corporate jurisdiction of admiralty law. I'm following all the steps. They just don't know what needs to be done. And my elders told me, Rod, if you know the way, you have to leave. Mm -hmm. If they haven't done it yet, it's only because they don't know. Because don't none of us like this bullshit. Right. Right? So me being dissatisfied and... and I'm 100% dissatisfied. We're not leaving this world like this for my children to have to deal with the same isms that we've been dealing with. Right. Right. So then I have to exercise my jurisdiction from divine law and divine birthright. And the ancient code of Kings is where it's codified. Right. But the ancient code of Kings is concealed by the Royal families. So now I have to remember the ancient code of Kings from past incarnations so I can exercise the first right of jurisdiction of the birthright of the earth, which goes to my sisters, right? So I have to fight for my sister's stuff. And when my sisters get theirs, they'll take care of me to my income. Yes. Right? So all of the work that I'm doing, only people that doesn't understand what, what needs to be done is the ones complaining. Yeah. I did the work and I exercised the jurisdictional claims of birthright. I overthrew the Vatican, the military industrial complex. I had to go one-on-one -on -one with artificial intelligence. They said that if I can't beat artificial intelligence, we was going to move to a technocracy, right? So they gave him four points of quantum encryption. Mm -hmm. I came in at 12 points of quantum encryption. The, the AI couldn't keep up. It starts spitting out gibberish to them, mm -hmm. right? Because they don't, the, it can't translate what I'm saying when I give a knock to a knockback on a monkey flip, mm -hmm. right? On a master grip, the the computer already lost. You yeah, know what the hell I just said? He's spitting out gibberish in numbers and binary code that tell them they can't keep up with the god mind of a god man. 
Five right fifth realize God form and God body. Right? So now they can go take their AI and put that on the side and use it to educate our children like jousting. Right? So that they can get their God mind on point by going against the computer. Mm -hmm. Right? That's all it is. It's the mind against the computer, the machine, the matrix. Yep. Right? And the matrix is inside of the mitochondria. So if you don't understand the mitochondria birthright to the earth, then you stuck in the matrix and you can't get out. Yup. And by unlocking the matrix, you unlock the mitochondria, you unlock the love of the sisters. Yep. So and, they've, they've been giving the whole world a false mother. That's yep. what the matrix is. Yep. Because the, and the they, mother is the inheritance. Right. And they've been giving them um, a dragon bitch. Yep. A archon. Yep. Right. With reverse genetic material. We got XX and XY. She got XX and YX. Her boys look like girls and her girls look like boys. And we call That's why they've been practicing. That's why they've been practicing that cross gender practice in order to kill the matriarchy. Mm -hmm. And you create a, a, a false reality of their artificial AI womb. But you can't never replace mama. You got that right twice. Now, here's one thing we need to stop. Don't send nobody else to the hospital to have no baby with a uh, sister or mama in the room with her. Stop yeah. letting them cut the umbilical cord before the baby suckle. Well, you already, because you got to make the baby to the, give the baby to the mother before you cut, cut the cord. Right, because the yeah. colostrum and the oxytocin goes through the system of the baby and it tells the mother that the baby was successfully delivered. Yes, because right. I've, I've delivered three. Right. When they cut the cord yeah. before that process takes place, the placenta tells the mother she had a miscarriage, but her physical eyes is looking at the baby creating the internal conflict and the postpartum depression. Yeah. Right. So we got to get out of that practice as soon as possible. We got to get you, away from them, period. Yeah, we got to get out of their educational systems because those are training facilities for their plantation. Yeah, animal husbandry. Yep. Skinner Farm. box, Skinner box, and Pavlovian response education. Yep. Training you how to Farm. be in a system, and those who don't want to comply, they throw them in the penitentiary. Mm -hmm. May May I interject? May yeah. I interject? very interesting um con conversation and i'm kind of looking at the um mess of uh, the uh, comments in the chat and for a point of, of clarity um there were several uh comments that had to do with um the fact that you as wh while you um you talk about the matriarchy and bringing the matriarchy back in its rightful place that you also say that um larry hoover is has got to be in charge so there's there they, they, they it they, don't work like that That's i'm just I'm, I'm just giving no so i'm bringing that so, to your attention right so, you a lot it. of people ask that right. question right. that's a good question but right. the three kings job is to report yes. on the land what's going on yes. with the water the land and the air what's going on with the people and then from there they cleared away for the matriarchy to be seen in the public in order to reestablish the jurisdiction um, du jour. And so, right, so they work in hand in hand. I take it, I take it when um, when Brother Rod is saying, Larry Hoover, you've got to look at the metaphysicality of what he's saying. He's not just talking about Larry himself. He's talking about the principle of the non-jurisdictional incarceration of both Larry, the non-jurisdictional uh, suppression of the Moabitis or the circle of mothers, the, um, the non-jurisdictional action on, on um, political prisoners in general, and the restoration of their obligation as belligerent fofers to release the estate and stop perpetrating the fraud on humanity 
as a nation or government, all of which they are not and never have been. Now, according to the rule of international law, it's actually their obligation to assist what's going on right now. And they're even breaching that. However, I'm glad that Brother Rod has stepped up as he has. And we, because basically what he's doing is what them grand sheiks were assigned to do by Noble Draw Lee in Act One of the Morris Holy Temple of Science. They were supposed to step up. But of course, we already we don't have to go through that. We already know the history on that BS. But it's, okay. it's one thing, one thing that Noble Drew Ali said. He said he was going to leave him in power long enough for us to learn how to run a government. Yes. So any of the grand sheiks that didn't do the work um, mean that it wasn't their job at that time. Because they couldn't have been competent to this, to this level and refused to do the work because it's the only way to give the collective relief. Yes. So um, respecting the fact that, uh, like I tell people all the time, I'm not a Moor, but I'm a student of more science. And my understanding of Noble Drew Ali's intent is for them people to stay in power long enough for us to run the government. We can run it now. We can run it now. We don't need nobody help. We don't need no de facto corporation that was set right. up as an interim government. We don't need them no more. They can go now. And we need more alpha males to step up to protect the mothers, to make them feel comfortable to take their positions and might not be distracted by all this BS that has been come part of the culture here. When you were saying earlier, um, the metaphysics involved in Free Larry Hoover, I keep telling everybody it's not only Free Larry Hoover. Free Larry Hoover is the condensation down to one single term that we can all get on the same page with. What comes with free Larry Hoover means free Chief Malik Angel Bay. It means free Mumia uh, Abu Jamal, right? It means bring Asada Shakur back home. Release all of our political prisoners, right? We've made agreements across the chiefs. The chiefs all understand but now we're on the Juneteenth campaign to inform the grassroots that this corporate system is over. And what you're looking at on TV is a stage play played out as a tool of distraction. So yeah. you don't know that it's time for you to walk off the job, have it hard for about a month or two, and come all the way up. Now, don't nobody want to do that. But it's going to get hard before it get easier. If you look at the senates across the country and the congresses they got senators and congressmen walking off the job because this shit is over yes i just saw that i just heard a news um something on the news and i don't look at a lot of news well, they ain't getting paid I, yeah they, that they're they're not running for re-election many in, in droves and so they ain't gonna get paid <laughs> now there was a comment in there and in, in the comment that said that uh free larry hoover is a psyop now you just said I, I like what you said you said that that is a rallying cry for all the political prisoners That's what it you is. did not name so but for those of yeah, you, not just political prisoners it also mean raise and restore the matriarchs okay so it's just it's a rallying cry that yeah, we can right. all get around and then i had i saw comments regarding when you mentioned the bikers there was comments like did he mean like as if you know, yeah, but what, yeah. What we see Look, like, every, everybody we see on the land have to be accounted for with the chiefs. There's no clans on the land, whether they bikers, KKK, um, whether they uh, Morris Science Temple, whether they growth and development, doesn't matter. They all have to have somebody that's a representative in the, in the collective of the clans. Mm -hmm. And you can't clean this shit up taking sides. That's why it's a round table, not a square table. Mm -hmm. And the one whose job it is, is the one who knows how to perform that function. And they're going to be ascribed titles according to their function. Even the um, red lodge, the peace stones called Larry Hoover, Chief Hoover, or the chairman. That means that when it comes time for us to restore the land, 
That's the chief that Big Mama appointed to speak up for the collective. To not take sides with nobody BS, right? Get in the middle of the, uh, the drama and say, hold up, it's not going down like that. This is what's really going on on the land. I'm reading it like I read a book because I know our culture well enough to know that it's in transitional phase. The FEMA document maps out the strategy for the transition to government, right? Don't argue with me, argue with the document. So the document gave us a clear cut description. We seen the movement, Larry Hoover lawyer went to see him last month, he couldn't see him because he wasn't there. They in continuity of government waiting on the people to get on the same page yes. so we can stop following the carrot on the stick and we can go get to the gold mine. Exactly. They can't give reparations. Number one, it ain't theirs to give. And number two, our people are the people of the land and they've been refugees in their own land. They need to recognize that and step up. So when we get back to restoring the land, it's more important than me fighting with the dirty moors and still telling them that I listen to Taj. Right? Now we know, we know from history that there's some people on the land that look like us, that murder us when we reach positions of prominence. They look just like us. But they ain't us. They've shown their hand. Mm -hmm. These are the people that came over calling themselves conquistadors. They tutor royal family members, hide out in Switzerland, live in upstate New York and New Jersey in gated communities. All that shit been busted up. But everybody watching the dog and pony show, the holographic mm -hmm. images and the actors playing Joe Biden, Right? This shit is over with. You know what I think, though, from what I'm looking at, again, I'm looking at comments and I'm, you know, I'm not going to get all into all of the negativity because there is quite a bit of negativity. But then there's, you know, there, there are those on here that really came to hear from both of you and to glean from and learn from what you had to say. But I think what it is, is that you know you, you speak with such a surety on things that folks are finding incredulous. So therefore, they think um, and I'm, I'm, you know, just kind of channeling thoughts. They think that you're crazy. For instance, um, for you to say, I did this. I um, um, shut down, you know, Buckingham Palace. I, I shut down. This. No, no, I'm just saying that these kinds of things, and, and you're, you're saying these things, and so they're, they're cause, because anyone could have done it is what yep. I heard you all say. Yep. Everybody didn't know to do it. And even yep. if they did know that it needed to be done, would not have had the courage or the balls or whatever else to be JJ to go and do it. So exactly. we should be happy that someone in the person of Rod Hayes has taken the initiative to do what needs to be. I'm reminded, Grand Sheik, um, of what makes sense to me is that what um, Grand Sheik is Daria Bay did, was it in 2013 or when? There was a, another, uh, the, the paperwork expired and she had to do some certain things that no one else had done at that point. Yeah, at, at, that was with the Moore Science Temple of America where they had let the um, the uh, corporate papers expire. And right. So, yes. and so and nobody else stepped up to the plate to make sure, because it's like a hundred year thing, if I'm, I'm not mistaken. She did it and then she got and still gets to this day flack about her calling herself you know who she the is prime minister prime minister people didn't, she, people didn't understand a, a, a government action even though uh from the corporate perspective all that stuff is dead now and not necessary the point of it is the the principle of her recognition was to try to set a, pr a platform correct so that she could start cleaning up the misrepresentations however the reality of it is, as the people become more and more conscious, the people need to recognize that the corporate pre uh, uh, platform and all bottomry instruments related to it, which Brother Rod is making reference to, 
are dead and unnecessary. What is necessary is for the people to now come back to their tribal clans and go back to the principles, like Juali said, go back to the state of mind of your ancient mothers and fathers, because our concepts are all wrong. He says, but at the same time, some things had to be presented to the people in the nature of what they were used to, but he also told them the half has not been told so that you could start practicing or exercising your critical mind and you would discover other things that you needed. That's why you never stand still. That's why you don't take a position. You don't take sides. You, you stick with principles. And in good time, the principles will show you everything you need to know. That's and then the only people, way to conquer the dogma. You got, yeah, to use, every, you got to use the morals to conquer the dogma. And everything you're saying, it makes sense a lot. But then I still see comments like, well, no mention. He's not saying anything about the Moors. Moors. I think what I'm hearing you say in both of the either of you, correct me if I'm wrong. That, those things that we were being dropped, pounded upon over the last 40 years or so, Grand Sheik, that you've been talking about. and different. You've said it to me. You just said it. The things that we've been doing would also mean things we might even be calling ourselves. There will be a point where that is not necessary in order for us to come into our rightful place tool. in the late. It's a tool. People need to understand that organizations are tools. They're not, they're not set up to live forever. They're set up to do a job. But the job is usually what you call an abstract, i.e., just like customs and traditions are what you call abstract uh, hereditaments. Uh, a physical thing like land, the aggregate land, as an example, uh, trinkets, uh, statues, different things that were made by our forefathers. Those are what you call corporal inheritance. But the abstract it is something that has to be done or the building in the character of the mind. And so you must recognize that when that is recognized, that those physicalities are unnecessary. And this is what people don't understand about organization. They think that the organization is the thing. The organization is the tool. That's all. And when the job is done, the tool is put away. Yeah. Well, did not the prophet say, I came to you more? Because you need me the most. Need, need the most, which which said to me that, like you said, he says, I'm a universal prophet. So they his. Keep, excuse me. They keep looking at the Moorish movement, not so much the Moorish movement. But they, uh, uh, so many people keep have wrongfully and improperly looked at the Moorish Science Temple of America as the nation. It is not. It is it's an outreach venue put in place for communication and to deal with the corporate side of our activities that we're forced into not to make, not to be continued, if you get the point. When it has done its job, it passes off. The job is done, which is why we're even having this conversation. We need to know when we know, you know, it's like this. As an example, you know, you've been busy and I've been busy, right, Doc? And we went and measured these windows, you know, different things that we do, right? And we had these windows sitting in here for what, two months or so, whatever. And then we went through all the trouble to get them in the first place, right? And then I put the windows in, right? I had other stuff to do. And I took the tools and then I put them away, right? Okay. We don't need the tools no more, right? Right. Then I, 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 I use the tools and I put the air conditioner back up, right? But then I don't need the tools. People need to know that institutions are the same way. People have the confusion that institutions are supposed to live forever. They're not, they're tools. When they have done their job, they are to be dissolved. They're not to be, you don't maintain them. You maintain the principle. This is why principles are set or what you call maxims that are based. Maxims are usually principles that are based in what you call stare decisis relative to civil law, etc., but are based in nature law principles that don't change or pass away. That's why you take the position of principles in order to vet all that you do, left or right. You don't take a position, you don't take sides, you take principle. And you stand on that principle because we basically in the physical form are fickle. 
And we change up because we're fickle. And we put too much faith in people based on what organization they belong to when we start giving an importance to organization more than they deserve. Organization is only a tool. And when an organization fails to fulfill its purpose, it is dead. Or when it's completed its purpose. Both, both. Right. There's a and question. Need to know, not, people need to know, and this is the message that people need to understand that Brother Rod is, is saying. Things have been put in place as an example, and it's not just himself, but as an example that we all can that we all can uh how do you say uh speak to what noble Jolly did over a hundred years ago has served his purpose which is why we're having this conversation facts has served his purpose which is why rod did what he did but facts. whether it came from him or anyone else the principle of that claim still stands still stood it needed someone to recognize it. And this is what people need to understand. People keep looking at what they think is images, um, what some other idea of what they think is supposed, you know, you're supposed to come in some kind of silk suit, you know, with five diamonds around your nose type thing. Well, guess what? Brother Rod come, and guess what? He's so down to earth, so down to earth, that it makes some people feel uncomfortable. He's so real about it and blunt about it and alpha about it that it makes a lot of people that don't have testicles uncomfortable. And rather than then admit that they haven't done their job, they want to attack the messenger. However, he ain't worried about it. And guess what? Neither am I. Get the work done. We don't need no damn titles. Thank you so much. <laughs> Listen, okay, that that the yeah. And and another, thing, another thing is different if I was if I came to toot my own horn. I'm not here right. to toot. My, I'm not telling everybody this is about me. This is about the collective, right? I think part of it is, brother Rod, that they kind of they, they're some, not all. There are many that really can relate, but there are others that say, "Well, what is his nationality?" If you're not called, they feel like if you're not calling, you're identifying yourself as a Moor, like you just said, "I'm not a Moor, but I study science." Then, then what are you? Who are you? Then you have no, no part of us. And that's See, what I'm seeing. Let, that's what I'm, one of the things let, I'm seeing. Again, Doc, let's look at this. They keep looking at the pedigree. They're mixing pedigree with corporate activity. They don't understand that the Moore Science Temple is a corporate action done by political necessity. It does not supersede, nor does it, nor does it give the pedigree. The pedigree of more, which is just short, is a short term for Amrak and Amaru, which is just generally referring to all of the Bantu, Mandinka, Phoenicia, etc., uh, uh, Hikukta, or Egyptian people, or what you call the Asiatic Africans around the world. It's a general cover. It itself is not directly itself a nationality in the sense that people think it is. It is, a, it, is a, it is a word that covers generally all of the African clans in general. Now, Under just like have, the jurisdiction of admiralty yes, law. It's a jurisdictional designation. Now, the deal of it is, even when Juali set up uh, the platform of Moorish Americans, that's to distinguish the birthright clans of, of, of the Maghreb uh, or the, what you call the Western world of the original people, Aboriginal people, distinguished from other Moors around the world, some of who have been trying to make claims here that don't have a claim. It is a political distinction, and people need to know that. It doesn't make you who you are. You're already who you are. That's it. Those things were done by political necessity, and people need to understand that. As far as they they their purpose. Well, there was a question about in, in, in the comments with a question about Canadian uh, that black Canadians, um, whether or not this or was Canadian law different. Canadian also, is a corporate entity, too. That's also so, been debunked, defunct. Yeah, and you, also just mentioned, dead. you mentioned earlier Barbados. Canada, let, let's, let's be clear. Canada Corporation and the United States Corporation have the same international number. 
They right. both are property of the queen. They are not really the organic land. And people need to make the distinction between the organic land and the organic people and the corporate land names, which is what Rod is trying to tell everybody. We've been telling people that, but they don't get it. They think that we're rejecting their nationality. They don't. When people don't understand, nationality only indicates a uh, political, jurisdictional venues. So this is why. Come, when you come from a superior jurisdiction, it's like the equivalent of driving a bulldozer through the courthouse. Yeah, just leveling the courthouse with a bulldozer. You come in with a superior jurisdiction and the first right of claim to a birthright that's a blood tie to the land that they can't interrupt and they know who we are from the day we born. And that Regardless means of what they tell you. That means the organic distinguished from the corpse or the dead, which is why that's why Drew Ali gave you the the, the uh, uh uh the allegory of black uh according to science mean death. He was not talking from an et etymological point of view, he's talking from a social engineering principle. And so people need to, this is why he said every temple must have a school. These things were supposed to be taught. They were not done. However, the world don't stop just because we don't carry out what we're supposed to do. And this is where it, you know, so nature herself steps in and starts making her assignments as usual. We've never been left without guidance. It's not what you want, it's what you need. You know, they say that it's gonna be bitter to the uh, mouth, but sweet to the stomach. You ain't gonna like yeah. to hear it. It's a double-edged sword to cut both ways. I do. Right. <laughs> so I believe that people have a 100% right to disagree with everything I say. Absolutely. Said. Because we are I believe that people got a hundred percent right to agree with me if they choose to. Because they are creators and makers of their own, just like us. Right. The message or principle is presented for people to ascend who want to ascend. There you go. That's why the ancient African rule is this: every man, every woman, and every child must confess their own. And worship under their own vine and fig tree. That means the spirit man. Why? Because even children are not excused, which means it is a metaphysical and a spiritual issue. It is not an age issue. It is not a time issue. It is a placement cycle issue, i.e. of the spirit man and not the flesh man. So when I pull up the contracts now, this is a jubilee year. Yeah. It you want to go into what the Jubilee year mean for the contract? I just I explained it already, but I just love to hear you explain it. <laughs> all things all things got to be returned. Yeah. All, all things got to be returned. returned. <laughs> circle circle 7. Cycle 7. And I am number seven. I am number 7 from the 313. That equals 7. I do. Right? Born with three sevens in my head because I'm the seventh seed of the seventh seed of a seventh seed. Right? So with the blood right and numerical value, they already know that I had the right to restore and reclaim the land for the people and for us to get to work restoring our family structures back where all of the clans can then worship under their own vine and fig tree like it's supposed to be. We fought to integrate with somebody that had nothing to do with us. Then none of that shit had nothing to do with us. And that's why Noble Drew Ali needed us to learn civics. Because if you don't know civics, you will never know what these people are doing that they ain't got no business doing. And you won't know how to get rid of them. You won't make discernment. You don't right. know how to rep separate the wheat from the chafe. And so, you don't know the issue, and, and this is the political issue that people need to understand about nationality. Nationality was put in place politically in order for people to make what is called the diversity argument so they could recognize that they're the heirs, distinguished from what they assumed it was. People's concepts about nationality placement has been incorrect. 
It's not something that needed to be kept. It is a political action. From my, from what I'm seeing, how people are looking at nationality and the application to become a national, they're looking at diplomatic status under a corporate jurisdiction. Can't. They're not looking at they're not looking at a certain age de jour um, birthright. Right, exactly. They, right, so they're trying to use the system and work within the system that's designed to trap you at every you turn. You can't. You can't. It's de facto. All designed in the corporate de facto venue is to steal birthright. The right. issue of the nationality is brought up for them to expose themselves. Right. And then once you understand that, you understand the nationality issue is for your pedigree birthright and reclaiming of your lost estate, being the proper heirs and the true Al Moroccans distinguished from the corporate. And this is what people don't, many have not gotten. However, the nations of the world or the political venues around the world, those, all the nations around the world are now using the principles, not that constitution, but the principles of the honor, honesty, constitution principle that was adopted by them to restore the republic platforms so they can get back to their organic selves on the land. And that was the reverse engineering going exactly. back. Because first, before we can assert tribal rights in the crash site, the 10 square miles known as D.C., we had to first seize the flag of the admiralty jurisdiction and by replacing it with the law of the land by occupying Pelosi's desk with no friends. That's the law of the land. Yes. That's taking you back to the Republic. Exactly. Then, now we have to take the 10 square miles that the Republic claimed, and now we have to claim it as indigenous by establishing a totem pole. And it's called Aboriginal title, Aboriginal claim that supersedes all other claims. It, receive, it, it supersedes all deeds or any other instrumentality created under the corporate structure, all of which are dead. Right. So we, uh, I posted already for them to see when we posted the uh, flat, uh, the totem pole to seize D.C. because mm -hmm. that was the only territory that was in dispute, and that was the corporate jurisdiction of the United States. Everything outside of that was also assumed jurisdiction that wasn't really um, operating uh, according to the law of the land. They was operating under salvage law in admiralty jurisdiction. Yes. So when when you when you have the flag of the land, then you have the totem pole. You put it together. That's the organic people of the land using a system to overthrow the artificial system that don't belong here. And and this is where. When Juali set up the uh, Morse Temple of Science, not the Morse Science Temple of America, Morse a Temple of Science, civic platform, those things are, were supposed to be taught to the people in a civic manner so that they could recognize their relationship to the government or what they assumed to be government and discover the reality that they weren't the government. And that we had relinquished our responsibility and given up our birthright under ignorance and under playing around, etc. However, and being more than anything else, yeah, being lied to and making deals with five out of Indians claiming they was us, exactly. See, they brought them over here as POWs and they made agreements with them and replaced us on the trail of tears when they assassinated us with a paper genocide. Yup. Right. They changed our legal designation in the paperwork. Uh, uh, was that Andrew Jackson? Mm hmm Right. When they was, when they was doing that, that's the, the that's right there to, to confuse all of the outcome. And this but is why one thing, one thing they can't get around is the blood and the right. And I got the blood and the right to go in and be the family redeemer for my sisters and all of the sisters that's part and party to the claim that uh, chose to use me as the family redeemer to redeem the uh, rightful jurisdictional position in natural law and override the admiralty jurisdiction of a de facto corporation. 
Yes, because common is a lot of this a lot of legalese, but we have to know the legalese because that's where they deceived us the most. Exactly. And so and this is why it's so important to to um to um spend more time uh teaching and sharing those principles of uh I self law and master, and that is the principle, the metaphysical principles of Radun. Uh, and not the creed principles of Islam that people assume that is meant. It means I, self, law, and master, that's taking back your laws to state, it has nothing to do with bowing down and praying to nothing. It has to do with reinstating your connection with nature, your connection with the land, and the principles laid down by our forefathers based on our obligation to send them principles back on the land with the people in the culture always being careful that the seventh generation after us is protected with those same principles so that they can be passed down to the next seven in cycles is our yeah. obligation and so and therefore so the women must step up and stop playing this you know this church game that they've been playing for for these last hundred years and get back into the right state of mind and use that womb properly. And this is back to why we, you know, we did the applied science of the number nine years ago. And, um, you know, uh, even with the uh, backlash that we've gotten from that over the years, um, in due time, I knew that uh, a number of women would begin to recognize what it, the message really was and step back into them their cells. But they've been spending so much time trying to be somebody that they're not and not recognizing that whatever they do charges the whole nativity or the whole birth, i.e. The, na the nation collective, et cetera. And so in order to fix the nation, you got to fix the womb. In order to fix the womb, you got to fix the, the chambers of heaven, which is the mind. And therefore, they got to go back to those metaphysical principles of both hermetic law and the laws of my art that they've been talking loosely but not practicing. Well, you know, a lot of them like to sound deep when they use a lot of that Pan-Africanism and um, Egyptology. They learned a few hieroglyphic words, and they can use that to get a nice check, right? Because if you sound like you know what you're talking about, and you can ask for some money. That's why I don't ask for no money. Mm. If they give me some, they give me some, right? That ain't got nothing to do with me. Because birthright can't that, be told. I put that, your cash up, 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 up there. You did not right. want it up there. I put it because up there. Because the servant is worthy so of a I appreciate you both. So. Yeah. And, and, and the other deal is I'm glad that when, you know, when he started uh, uh, talking about or making it very clear, you know, that birthright can't be sold. You can't put a price on it. And, 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 and if you're doing a platform, like say, if you're, if you're presenting a service, a, 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 a servant is worthy of his hire. When it comes to issues of birthright, you can't put a lien on it. If you do, you're dirty. And this, and people need to understand when he's talking about, or when he's properly critiquing different issues of paperwork where people are selling paperwork, he is absolutely telling the truth. It's not for sale. This is we even why uh, over the years, uh, Dr. G, when it came to making reversion of a state statements for the consciousness of the people. Why I put that those files on the the flash drive, and we would give it out freely because remember, as years ago, we were making averments of jurisdiction, challenging the jurisdictions of these claimants, etc. And then people were taking it and selling it. It's not for sale. It's to be sealed and claimed. It a, an estate, a proper estate, cannot be sold, or it cannot be put a lien upon it. It must be claimed by a proper and competent air and those principles go all over the planet in relationship to airship and that nature of that right of claim is really what rod is trying to tell the people and they shouldn't be mad they should be happy well they having a problem because uh, now i noticed because you they don't flinch. understand wait, 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 you didn't flinch when he said i'm not a moor and in the in the in the in the um, chat, they some of them are having all kinds of hissing. He's shit. talking so, about the club concept that people keep promoting under the Morse. See, the deal, what he's saying, if you don't mind, Rod, 
if I'm go, go ahead, go ahead. You got the flow. See, see, his argument is the, the idea that people have have been taking the Moorish movement as a club organization that makes you what you are by pedigree. The platform is only for communication of information. It can't make you. You already are who you are. You, you, you know, people, and this is back to people really not even understanding government, not understanding corporate entities, not understanding trust positions, etc. which is why over the years, you know, as you already know, Doc, when we talk in many in many of our, you know, over the years, our conversations, you know, so many different things that we could get into, you know, a lot of different information. This is why over the years I've always been redundant on the civic issue, because that's if you don't break the root of the problem, I don't care what other information you give to people. They ain't going nowhere with it. All you do is scatter their brains. It's sort of like giving people. Uh, a bunch of cars with no keys and no batteries and, to, and and acting like you gave them something. It's a distraction. We're broken mostly, although it's in, in many spiritual ways, a lack of, uh, of culture and knowing the real culture. We're broke in, in, in the manner that our people keep on participating in political platforms when they don't know politics. They keep voting when they don't know that they're they're not a part of what they're voting for. They keep on fighting to be a part of something that is is actually the opposite board of themselves. Ain't got nothing to do with us. Not at all. The only thing that they have to do with you is a fofer issue of them being what you call an interregnum fofer occupational government who has obligations according to international law, which they have breached. Not only that, they're bankrupt and they got no business doing any activity whatsoever on any level. However, the people themselves haven't stepped up because all their leadership for the most part has been compromised. And thankfully, a few people have stepped up in spite of it all to speak on behalf of the people being in proper person, proper air, proper blood and claiming the estate to dismiss oh. the belligerent fofers, i.e., who don't even who who don't even have right to even talk anymore? So the uh, prophets say, uh, uh, when you open your mouth, the assumption of ignorance becomes proven, right? Because when you 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 can claim to know something, but if you don't know the path to walk, you don't know the questions to raise, you don't know the jurisdictional challenges, then you just talk it. Right. What we're talking about today is regardless of whether I call myself a more or not, I'm growth and development. Right. You're still the blood. And I that has nothing to do with me exercising my right as organic man on the land uh, among the collection of the elders because I'm an elder now. And as my first job as an elder is to try to compel the people to wake up and see what's going on in front of y'all face before you get caught with a culture shock of a great magnitude when things switch and you wasn't paying attention, right? It's the same as when they was trying to tell them they was free in the story of the Juneteenth. That's what we doing now. The system is over with. You don't have to agree with me no more, but it's going to be proven. And everything I said that I did that I gave instructions to be done, seized the Vatican, seized Buckingham Palace, seized in the military industrial complex, seized Wall Street, uh, seized the International Stock Exchange, the World Monetary Fund, the, uh, the um, International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, to seize all of the uh, corporate holdings of all of the secret societies that was implicit in the human trafficking network Right. All this is already recorded and y'all going to see whether uh, y'all agree with me or not. Taj taught me civics well enough to know what I need to do with the blood and the right to reclaim the land. That was his duty that he assumed from Noble Drew Ali that was passed to him when talking on the land, through the land, man to man. 
He didn't have to sit at the table with Noble Drew Ali for him to give him his marches instructions. And he did it flawlessly because, as he just said, and I said earlier, I've been watching them say the same thing for 50 years, redundantly. I say he got the patience of a saint, right? Because they've been asking the same question for 50 years. No diversity in the questions he's being asked. Therefore, he got to keep telling y'all the answer to the shitty answer last week, the week before that, the month before that, and the 10 years before that. He got to keep answering the same question. What do black mean in law? What do white mean in law? What is the de jure position? What is the de facto position? All that, we know that. We know all that now. What you going to do about it and do you know what to do about it right. is where we at now. We need, because I studied, we need actions. Right. It's because I studied the civics that Taj taught, I knew when Noble Drew Ali said, I'm going to leave these people in power long enough for you to run the government. And I know I can single-handedly run the government better than all these bastards put together. Then he must have been talking about now, and he must have been talking about me because I don't see nobody else making the proper claim in their proper persona, in their proper jurisdiction as the de jure on the land in face of the de facto government that's an interim government established under false pretenses and conjure magic, Babylonian blood magic, Babylonian money magic, and Babylonian sex magic under the rights of ninner sin, right? I could take the shit all the way back to where it started at. Go on with it. <laughs> right? And they came from 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 Nibiru to Earth, from heaven to Earth they came, Nephilim, they fell down, they came down here on Mount Sinai, the mountain of sin, Right, mm -hmm. the holy Mount Zion, a uh, Yahweh, and Yahweh is Enlil, Lord of the skies, who took mm -hmm. jurisdiction over Enki, Lord of the earth. Mm -hmm. And when he did that, he sent his children out to cause mischief and bloodshed everywhere they go. And terror. Ain't no right in them because they don't know how to be right. They just like their daddy, a no good riding motherfucker. So they can be offended by it. They look like us, but they not us, right? They they relatives, but they're not direct relatives, right? They got a different agenda. They came to collect the gold, and they wanted us to be their permanent slaves. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to be their slave. So fuck them motherfuckers and the, and the ship they rode in on, Vermont or whatever you want to call it, sham, and they can leave. I got the report today from the Pleiadians that a major event is incoming. And every, and they're running in every corner to try to escape, but there's no escape this time. And, and you know what, Rod? And this is the interesting thing. Some of the people that are continuing their BS don't know that the head has already been removed. Which is also, is also time stamped and dated on my yeah. Facebook page. Mm -hmm. When the dragon bitch was beheaded by Inanna herself. Because she said she wasn't finna get nobody else to satisfaction, including me. Is it like, like you said, it's like they're Juneteenth because they still operating like they're in power, but they're, they, they, they're right. Not right. Not and even the, the data's wrong. And the interesting thing about that is um, to find out that this year they've made the federal, so called feds made Juneteenth a federal holiday and all. Oh, countries i mean companies all over the the country are closed on monday honoring buying time they're buying time and you know like you said all of these did you talk about the patents i mean they i mean we know they made yeah. ice cream that was a big but they're making juneteenth everything to have a last ditch effort to capitalize off of something that has something that has nothing to do with them look and has the something to do with ignorance yeah, the fossil fuels have to go up because they operating on their reserves. We got oil stockpiled over here. They haven't been able to trade in the oil from the Americas. That's why they've been just stockpiling it. They can borrow money against it, but they can't sell it. Their contract said they couldn't sell it, and they didn't sell it. All of the minerals that they've been shipping around the world, they've been shipping them here. Right? So... We seized the beers for um, for for uh, the diamonds. labor practices in in Africa. You know the diamond mines, right? Mm. So all sources of 
So when we when 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 the switch come, when the major event come, this is how the uh wealth will be distributed. Anything that you gotta dig three feet or more beneath the earth to get, have to first satisfy the needs of the local people before it can be exported for anybody's gain whatsoever. Mm -hmm. That means if your country is a country that primarily produces a metal, that metal can't go nowhere until it satisfies the needs of the people that's from them land of demarcation. Those within them borders. Right? That's the only reason why we're leaving the, the current system up because it's good for the distribution of wealth to the rightful heirs within the geographical location of the lines of demarcation set up by the corporation during a military campaign. So, so let me go back and ask you about this this event, this global this event. Are we talking about something possibly um, cosmic in nature? Because I know um, lately they have, they've had on the Senate floor they've been talking about the reality of, of they're not calling them UFOs, UAPs or whatever they're calling them. They're short of calling them UFOs. So are they planning some type of holographic and some type of is this no, a real? Ain't nobody, don't nobody need holographs. No, is they this the real deal coming in? Guys, like, it's ships. Okay, the real deal. All right. They're real ships. See, their plan, their plan was to use holograph, but that's been intervened. That's number one. Yeah. Number two, even the nation states or, or the political jurisdictions around the world who've been sending coffee here is not allowed to send coffee here no more either. So they're going to run out of that, too. And um, so, like we've been telling people for the last seven years, Doc, we've been telling people that they're, that the nations are going to stop trading with them and that they're going to have a feedback loop. And all of the, uh, 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 the de facto agencies that they set up, that the people have been investing in, is going to fail them. And so, just like Rod said, he ain't got to prove nothing. All he got to do is state it, put it in the ethers. And the deal of it is they ain't getting past this generation. They're going to experience it. Here's a question. Does, does this mean that the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, Consular Court, etc., is no longer valid? That's expired. See, the deal is all is no net is no longer necessary. It the, expired the, the July issue, the 4th, 2019. What is the issue that we've been telling the people? It is to challenge the jurisdiction, and then they're going to prove to you that they have no jurisdiction. Then you're supposed to take your place as an heir. It is for our people to learn. This is why even over the years when we gave the people the judicial notice, right, and the, uh, the appellation name proclamation, we would tell them, study them. It's for you. They already know who you are. It's for you. Where do we send it? You don't have to send it to anybody. Send it to your brain and make your claim. A reversion of a state is for you. However, the time's going to come. It's not going to be necessary. And if you don't believe it, watch when the nations stop trading with them. That's why we've been telling people for the last 10 years, even take your energy out of the banks because they're going to steal that. The U U.S. corporation operatives, the last large financial holding that they had in their jurisdictional operations was the federal employees retirement fund they stole that all these people that they've been calling congressmen stole it and have been laundering it through um that spot over there ukraine not just the adrenochrome but also that's what they've been laundering all this the finances that they've been stealing from the people here. You won't say that word. They thought we was lunching, didn't they? Yeah. Well, guess what? Let them retire on nothing. It's, now, it's the deal right. is they're going to have to be a proper heir to receive the benefit of heirship. And that's what's, that's what's going to be dealt with around the world. And so that's why I decided to speak up exactly what he said, because my blood talked to me the same way that my mama used to talk to me. 
And it told me I was tied to the land. I'm from the land, organic to the land. And that I needed to step up and exercise my, my, my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in order to establish love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice on the land. That's what they told me to do. I don't care about people that disagree with me, disagreeing with me. I'm, I'm still not going to stop until all my sisters get all they shit. So if you can be mad at me and you can be mad that I don't claim to be a more or a vice lord. I'm growth and development. I got mad respect for Taj. He's my elder. I've been studying him for years. He the one I learned civics from on knowing what to do. You only learning what's being done to you. I'm trying to learn what to do about it. Thank Our you. positions as students is not the same. You trying to learn how to survive in the system. I'm trying to learn how to overthrow the system. <laughs> you trying to learn how to go along to get along. I'm trying to learn how to piss in their face. Right? The only way to piss in their face is to have an absolute right to jurisdiction and assert that with competence in law. And the competency in law supersedes day law as organic law, natural law, the law of nature. The law of nature said I have the blood right to make these claims that I'm making and give these instructions that I'm giving, and I don't got to worry about who's going to carry them out. I just got to make sure that I put it in the public domain, time stamped and dated. So when they say, here it is, I already told you. It's dead. All must be made public and transparent. Yep. That's what the word proclaim means. So when they come and ask for a prima facie case, it's already produced. Right? What is my grievance about them? and having these political prisoners they it's already on the record right i'm just trying to let y'all know i already put the shit on the record now we just got to go back and try to organize our family structures who's gonna be your family account that's what you need to be worried about which ones y'all gonna have on y'all family banks board of director because we got to decentralize that if we want to be part and party to our own destiny yeah Decentralizing the bank requires us to go back to the family banks that they use Billy the Kid, a.k.a. Wild Bill Hickok, in order to rob the family bank so that we would have to centralize with the enemy. See, we ain't see that shit coming because we didn't know what they was doing because they was using pale faces to block us out of institutions and the ones giving the instructions look just like us. Right? So now we know what happened. We know who the guilty parties was. We know who don't like it. And we know who don't give a fuck that they don't. Me. Mm. I know that I got an absolute birthright to the land to restore and reclaim the land. My mama told me. My big mama told me. All my uncles told me. And all my aunties told me. They all gave me the okay to go ahead and stand up against these motherfuckers and tell them what's what and what you going to do about it. So I told them. And I done it with the competency to know to overthrow the papal bull that the Pope issued in the 1301 saying that all humans on earth was imbeciles in law and therefore it became the white man's burden to civilize the heathen. And in their, in their terminologies, the implication is that to civilize the heathen is forces us to learn these laws that we work by in order to overthrow us or else we going to be they going to be subjugated under us for eternity so he can be the papal c i blinded his ass he won't see much now right he can keep calling on the dragon queen the bitch can't help him she did she's been beheaded they no longer under the arcanic rule of rome babylon fell in their face and they wasn't even watching they wasn't even watching and now they, they want to talk arrogant. about the aftermath. What's keeping them? What's keeping them artificially uh, functioning? The ignorance. people's ignorance. That's all they feed off of. They're vampires. As long as the people is contesting their organic rights to the earth anywhere on the earth, then the inorganic beings that came here with hostile intentions remains here, but they in flight mode right now. That's the message. From the Pleiadians earlier. Yeah, they're in flight mode. 
that reptilians are in flight mode in every direction. They can't go nowhere. And you know, they some of them been trying to some <laughs> some of them been trying to leave. Yep, and discovering they, that they blocked. Yep, they blocked by a, a Pleiadian light lock. And to form a Metatrans cube caught between the lunar magic and the dark slight satellites frequencies. So they can between technology and sorcery. And if they f try to force their way out, they will vaporize. That's it. <laughs> That's the dismal abyss that they will be sent to trying to get out of here. Because ain't nobody getting out of here without paying for their dirt. I don't give a they fuck. They got an answer. Right. Door. So the books is out. Door. The books is open. And these motherfuckers been found wanting. Right? They haven't done right by the righteous people of the earth. So now the righteous people of the earth got a whole lot of pre karma to cash in and they don't have the means to pay it. So now they want to run. They know where to run and know where to hide. They got away before. This is the land of Tahuti, the land of the feathers, the bird clans. They fucked up when they came over here. Because when you see me, shit got bad. That means the ones that put us in the condition couldn't remember what they did to get us out. So I had to figure it out. Farrakhan told me it was going to be like unscrambling the egg and asked me if I was up for the challenge. I said, unscramble the egg. It's almost impossible, but it ain't impossible. I tried. So I unscrambled the egg. Going to the fifth dimensional plane of a uh, four, playing 5D chess with the, with the invaders. They lost. We won. That make motherfucker. And then you can take that to the bank and cash that shit in if your bank's still open. Speaking of um, Faircon, someone, I know there were a couple comments in about have a, tell Farrakhan to open the books. I'm not sure what books. Do you, do you know what book or release the books? Uh, Farrakhan got files on the enemies. Remember, a lot of us don't remember Malcolm X didn't just die as a, a opposition to Elijah. He ran a red herring. Yep. The murder plot was to get Elijah, but they feared Malcolm more. So Malcolm read the ring here and draw the heat and told Elijah who all the dirty players was in the public domain. Mm -hmm. When he ran the dirty players down, we thought he was just calling names, but he was like, the people in the streets, uh, no, I ain't, I'm not telling on nobody. The police told me this. This is how I know. Now he already telling you that the people in the street know he ain't telling. And the reason why they know he ain't telling because they know it and the police know it. The same motherfuckers that clip, clip, uh, murdered Clans 13X. They're the same ones. The same ones that slaughtered almost all the Kareem Abdul Jabbar family in the They're the mm -hmm. same motherfuckers. The same ones that was acting like Muff Tease until uh, Noble Drew Ali went to sleep and decided to give him up to Rome, as they call it. Mm -hmm. They couldn't get to him past his Muff Tease when they was on they, before they got infiltrated. They seen all threats coming. All of a sudden, now they don't see the threat coming. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't fit in with the moves of the original Mufti staff of the Morris Science Temple. So when Farrakhan opened the books, he got the names of all the dirty players. Going all the way back to 1913 with it. Mm -hmm. So when he opened the books, he can call their name out. The living and the dead. Mm -hmm. And he can tell you exactly what they did, who they done it with, who they made their allegiances with, who paid them off. Most of them was paid off by Prescott Bush Inc. Mm -hmm. That's why That's why they would never show the people the FBI papers uh, that indicate those who they were co controlling with the COINTELPRO operations, which was initiated long before they admitted to it they admit that they initiated it around 66 that's been de that's been operated since around j edgar hoover time well you got to remember the same program under a different name is how they ca uh, how they uh deceived and uh arrested marcus garvey 
Yes, absolutely. It was, a, it was the same uh, uh, leadership that put that program together. Yes. Right? They the same ones who paid for the assassination of JFK, Robert Kennedy, Martin Luther King, and um, um, John Lennon. Mm-hmm. Yep. Same, the same dirty hands, the same motherfuckers. Yep. Same so, unclean hands. So when they want him to pull out the books, this is what they talking about. They yeah. won't. He gonna do it. Cause they got all the records. They yep. always kept meticulous records. They wasn't allowed to do nothing to us without recording it. Yep. Yeah, I know you addressed this, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna since it's in here. I want. Would you just make it make it plain one more time? Um, Jay Kane says the person who claimed Pelosi's office was quote unquote pale skin. Those pictured with the totem pole look like $5 Indian. Where's the so-called indigenous person and all this? I think you said. I said we sent the people in that look like them. That's what I heard you say. The same way that they came in and did us in the beginning, it's the same way we had to exit this motherfucker. We had to use the same strategy they used to, uh, to enslave us you to get out of slavery. It. We just had to play it in reverse. Right? So it, it ain't no secret who he was trained by because he tell you he was trained by the shamans that's native to the land. He told you that. And then he was sent in by Q, the Q QAnon. Right? This is before any of the occupation took place because he had to be clearly identified and who he was working for on the record, for the public record in the public domain. And people need to know that the QAnon was not set up with Trump. It was set up with Lincoln. Yep. So that's a lot deeper than what they ready for, Ty. They can't even handle this surface shit we've been giving them. We start going back into the darker metaphysics and um, the countermeasures that had to be played. They'll, they'll definitely be lost. We can't go over their head that high. All the stuff falling apart now, and we ain't got ain't got what you can sit back and do. Really, stay stay spiritually high, stay positive, and watch the movie, and try to participate in a system as little as possible. The exactly. less participation that old system has, the faster it falls. Let Rome die. Well, some are asking how one. One asked, "How can they live if they completely with we completely withdraw?" Look, you know, I they got to do the best they can with what they know. Exactly, and they better be sincere. If they're That's sincere, all. Mother Nature take care of them. But if they want Rome, they got Rome, and they're going down with them. They have so, a right of choice. Yeah, they so, have a right of choice. Yeah, and, the, and the rule I was here tell you it's going to get hard. For the a rule, short period of time before the ease time. The rule here is free will. Yep. So you got to follow your will, Let them hear. Whosoever will, let them come. Whoever will, let them stick with Rome. Whoever will, honor their mothers and fathers. The choice is yours. You ain't putting it on nobody no more. And ain't sacrificing nobody for them anymore. You have a right to take your position. You're charged to take your position now. There's no longer straddling the fence. They they can't play the serve to master game no more. That they've no. been trained in. Yeah, the old master did. Well, I think most most sincere uh Moors or or melanated or you know. People from the land. And this are is in mind, this around the world, just, not just here. Right, no, I'm just in general. Folks just want truth. They want to know, you know, since we, we're talking about love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, what is the truth? Because there's so many different, you know, this group's doing this, this organization is saying that, this, this group's saying that. Say this? Folks are confused, but they Can want to say this. Can we say sure. this? Sure. Sincerity opens up all brains in the head, in the heart, and in the stomach. They will know 
by both feeling and vibration. They need to stop looking and they need to start being. And if they'd be, they won't have to ask anymore. All they got to do is start paying attention to the signs of nature. Nature will tell them everything they want to know. All they got to do is be sincere. I read nature like a book. Tell them everything they need to know. With a, a Hebrew Israelite told me if I don't have no book, I can't talk to him. I said, my book is nature. I read nature. He was totally befuddled. He couldn't comprehend that concept, but he could comprehend getting his life mission from a book. My life mission is written in the stars and it's written on the earth. Let's remember this for everyone who's listening. And this is what's presented to all people in all secret societies in relationship to the Bible. And it is this. Never forget, and this is for all candidates of all secret societies, that the church did not come from the Bible. The Bible came from the church. Bing, 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 bing. Not just that. Keep in mind, the original text of the Septuaginta, before they altered it and took it into Rome's hands of the dark side of Babylonian magic, is 777. Now they got 66. However, look at six moons of the Gregor Gregorian calendar that they've been using, six days, six moons, and guess what? All of this stuff is going to be exposed, and a hybrid Europeans themselves are going to start telling the truth because their middle class has been dissolved, and all the secrets that they've been holding from all the Aboriginal people, they're going to start telling to try to save themselves. All you got to do is sit back, keep, keep true to yourself, and listen, because they're going to tell you now, Step into your guy form. Don't take sides. Check the receipt. And observe. And watch what takes place in the upcoming weeks. Because this is about, like I told you, I got the message today that there's an incoming major event. I don't know what it is, but it's coming from a Pleiadian source. And on the, on the flip side of this, then we will be back five-dimensional frequency vibration meaning higher knowledge, higher wisdom, and higher understanding, and they won't be able to deceive us no more anyway. Exactly. Like we said, they can't, because everything that was built in the third dimensional venue of the Piscean priesthood, it can't survive in the light of the Aquarian light anyway. And that's what all this is about. It's about the closing of the old age, the Piscean age, where everything was underwater and murky, to the air age of Aquarius, which is the moisture of the air. So we restoring the Shu and Tefna balance and we replacing the Shu men resonance back to its proper balance male to female and taking out the double masculine polarity in the grid that caused us to be in a stupor called the spell of Kingu or the spell of sleep. Once the stupor is broke, then we start getting what we call in um, modern so-called conscious community downloads. Mother Nature going to tell you everything you need to know if you listen to that inner voice. Listen to that inner voice over everything I say because it's going to tell you what's right even if I make a mistake. Right? So I don't got to always be right. I just got to always tell the truth as best I can. And stay true to the path. Yep. So... <clears throat> Um, they told me, unscrambled his egg, is unscrambled. Back in the shell, Humpty Dumpty back on the wall, unlimited potential that is, right? So now we're going to let the eagle hatch the egg and see what this unlimited potential produce. This is the coming together of the divine masculine and the divine feminine in a joint effort to put Big Mama back on her throne. And, and get away right. from the rogue system of invaders that came here. And the blowing of the trumpet means this on another level. Both sound, 
colors, etc., and vibrations will be used for healing. It is ancient. And so where is the dark priesthood that have been making the people sick, sound and vibration will be used to heal them, to put them back into a vibrational state so that they can ascend. Now, that's the truth. However, their will to accept it is their own determination. They have yeah. a choice. Yeah, because you don't have to. You don't have to wake up if you don't want to. You can you can drop dead if you choose to. Whatever they want, that's what they got. That's where we at. We getting away from all that. You need a you need a dictator to dictate your reality. You got an option to participate in the creation of tomorrow because it ain't here yet. I self law am master. Your choice. We and, just need to come together. We need to. We need to agree to disagree. Um, well, we we won't to come together because there ain't going to be no choice. This is what it is. See this? Remember what we were saying for years. The people are going to come together not because there's been a lack of people who have been willing to sacrifice their personal lives to bring this information to the people. They're going to come together out of pain. And if they don't recognize the pain now, get is it's still their choice because people, some people want this third dimensional energy experience and they don't want to recycle. They have that right. Cause this is a school too. You got to remember Weak Midgard is a school. Yeah. Weak and insufficient as they are, old man and good. There's one thing in which you are firm and obstinate and his name is misery. However, they're not going to be blaming you on nobody else. That's the whole point. Which, yep. what, which, which This is really what they're trying to do. They're trying to Im imply their responsibility of spiritual development on others. They're not getting that off. It's not happening. No more sacrifices. That's what I've been saying that on the record over three, over three years ago. Won't be no sacrifice this time. Everybody going to get exactly what they earn. Good, bad, or indifferent. If it's yours, it's yours. So if you reap the uh, unjust reward by being unjust, you're going to get that reward. And if you follow the goodness in your heart and been the best person you could and pursued the path of righteousness, you're going to get a righteous reward. Right? So when we put this in the public domain, this is bigger than me and Taj. We know what's going on. We're just trying to get the people to understand there is no division. The division is in the ignorance. The knowledge understands what's taking place. The ignorance is blind to the knowledge. Right? So we blinded them with science, but this time it's more science between Blue Lodge and Red Lodge, and we don't have no discrepancy in what we're saying. Taj told us successfully how to navigate the contract for 50 years. The contract over. Now I came to tell y'all the contract is closed. That is expired now. You no longer have to participate and trying to tightrope walk around the enemy, right? We've been new at the gate. We've been in perpetual war for 500 years. I came to end the war because after the war comes prosperity. You can't have war and prosperity at the same time. That's you why they said this. the wars. In relationship to what Brother Rod has just stated, Jawali said this, from all the Asiatics of North America and what take your places among the affairs of men. It can't be no more direct. And but Marcus Garvey, you are creators and makers of your own. And Marcus Garvey said, up you mighty people, do what you will. I, the most important word is will. Because if you don't use your will, your enemy will use it against you. Because it's the law of use of the universe. If you ain't using your free will, your enemy can use it against you. Right? So it's the same as if you buy a house but don't never move in it and you come back 20 years later, somebody been living there 20 years. They exercise squatter rights because you didn't exercise uh, domicile rights. So now you have to overthrow the squatters to get the squatters out of your house. Well, we're getting the squatters out now. It's time for them to go. 
And now we're making the connections on the land with the ones who know what to do in order for the ones who don't know what to do to watch us do it so they don't know what's necessary for their own enrichment and self-development and development of our people. Wherever we at on earth, we native all over this motherfucker from pole to pole, prime meridian to prime meridian. We been here, going to be here. But everybody that don't belong here got to go. That's by order of Galactic Council. Right? So the the first preservation being the first law of nature allows us to come to an agreement with the rogue elements to give them their quota of gold. But they supposed to give us our quota of technology. Because they stripped the tail mirrors back to make us age and die. We think death is normal. That shit not normal. We supposed to take off this meat suit when we feel like it, not when we get broke down and decrepit. Because we ain't never supposed to be broke down and decrepit. And the light and the sound is med beds and healing chambers. They been had this technology. It was just recently rediscovered by a secret society known as the Lazarus Group who was seeking the keys to eternal life. They wanted to know what was done to the genome to make us age and die. Well, it's not the genome they done it to, it's the tail mirrors on the genes. As the tail mirrors on the genes deteriorate, we age. Well, the tail mirror used to cover the entire gene and when it replicated, it reformed a full tail mirror. So they use science to interrupt our, our forever time. So we had to go in and examine what they was doing to us so we can undo that shit. And all the pyramids or kuntas around the world will start resonating. You know, they all put off energy. It's just that we haven't been using that network in so long. It's allowing the decay to set in on the structures. It's allowing the vegetation to make you think they mountains because they've been unused for so long. But some of them going to shake off their trees in the soil and you're going to see shiny pyramids under that. Don't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Right? Don't be surprised when the Crystal City land on Emerald Lake in Colorado. Right? Don't be surprised because we're telling you ahead of time what to expect, but you ain't going to expect it because you're going to assume that we don't know what we're talking about and we know exactly what we're talking about. It's just that uh, other people with less levels of knowledge are the ones who's rebelling the most. The new converts, the ones that got a little bit of something to make some money off of, and now it's being uh, threatened because now they can't fleece the flock. Right? All of the Moors know they got dirty Moors. All of them. And you know what? It's recorded in the Moors uh, American archive who they is from the complaints of the parishioners. Yep. So they can't duck and hide and say it ain't them. We know it's, it's, that, it's exactly you, motherfucker. You the dirty one that's making the good Moors look bad. Right? So we know the difference. The, the Moors know. Ties know who they is. Some of them he had to disassociate himself with years ago for the dirt they was doing. And he didn't put the, he didn't put them on blast because he didn't even know what he was dealing with. Right? He just knew that the way they was moving wasn't how he was led in his heart to move. So he moved in a different direction. Following what he know is right in his heart. So they can be mad at me. I don't care. I don't care. They can be mad as they want to be. All of the Moors know they got dirty Moors in the temple. All of them know it. I've talked to them personally on every level. You silence, Dr. G. You're on mute. Yeah, I was going to say all of the dirty Moors are not in the temple necessarily. There are some not necessarily, temple. but all of the ones that is, the Moors know, who the good Moors know who the dirty ones in the temple is from the parishioners. That's not my job to clean that up. It's their that's, job. Th that's that's the Moore's job. That has nothing to do with me. I just had to let y'all know they was there. And that they was trying to undermine.
the upliftment of fallen humanity in search of personal wealth and personal gain. The rest of it is up to the Moors to get rid of the dirty Moors. That's not my job. My job is to help Larry Hoover to clean up the nation of growth and development and to help Big Tukey clean up the sea nation on the West Coast. Them, that's my that's my lies that I have to help physically clean out, right? Angel Bay and um, Tariq Bay gonna have to organize the effort to clean up the moors. That's not my domain. I don't have no authority over none of the moors. They got their own family tree, and I got my own family tree. But when I come to read the land to the people, I got to tell them where the infiltrators at. They came in 32 degrees, Scottish Rite, Freemasons under Albert Pike, masquerading as George Washington. They established a de facto jurisdiction by shedding the blood of Crispus Atticus, ordered to establish a 200-year contract in 1776 that would have expired in 1976 if anybody would have ended the contract. And they used his blood to do it. Yep. So the secondary constitution is written in the blood of Crispus Atticus and is kept in the Washington Memorial Museum in D.C. We all know this that's versed in the science. Now it's up to the ones who didn't know it to stop trying to attack because they're attacking the wrong people. They need to be trying to clean house. They need to worry about their own specific group where they harboring fugitives from the righteous that's going to get drugged out in the street and dealt with like the criminals they are. And we ain't talking about calling no police because they're going to get dealt the fuck with too. Bluebird of Justice said that. They know who that is on top of the blue wall. So they got to deal with the punishment too. So when it comes time to clean up the land, it's going to be us. It ain't going to be no motherfuckers coming from China to do it. It's going to be us organic over here. We're going to support our chiefs. When we see our chief, we know our chief. Each tribe got their own chief. And we all got our job that was ascribed to us by Big Mama. And some people are going to like it. Some people are not going to like it. But they're going to all live through it and live to see the manifestation of the reality that Big Mama said this shit over. Ain't no more talking. It's a wrap. Restore the matriarchy, free Larry Hoover, deliver us to political prisoners, bring us out of Shakur home, and get these rogue elements off the land. In all their corporate capacities, they don't belong here. We don't need them no more. We know how to run our own government. So they have outworn their youth. They've outlasted the lifetime of their contract and got multiple extensions. Right? Noble Jew Ali gave them some. They got extensions through 1933 bankruptcy, 1963 um, bankruptcies. All of this stuff is on the record. Right? We know about the Buck Act, the Federal Reserve Act, the Internal Revenue Act. All they doing is acting. Because they're not the real ones. We the real ones. Right? So my civics teacher taught me well to understand the mechanics of civics so that I know how to deliver our uh, chieftains back to the land to restore the balance, back to the land and put Big Mama back in charge. That's all That's all I care about. I don't care about who don't, who don't like it and who don't agree. I don't care about none of that. That's they right. Don't nobody supposed to agree with everything everybody say anyway. Right. And, and you got, you still got folks in the chat looking, they want receipts and all that. I mean, where did that stuff come from? The, I got thousands of receipts I know. on my Facebook and Instagram. They, See, they, they asked for the receipts, but they haven't done a background check on what I'm talking about. So they don't know that the receipts is already in the public domain for their convenience to be able to use the information, one, to study for themselves, two, to know where we at in the process. They don't even know where we at in the process. They don't know why all of the ships outside of the docks that can't come in, but one at a time, full search because we in continuity of government. You just can't have ships running in willy nilly, lest you get invaded by a foreign force. Mm -hmm. It's the protocol of transitional government to shut down the um the docks 
in export import have to be to a screeching halt right and we found many many ships full of uh, refugees that the u.s military national guard and foreign militaries around the world have collected that was that was in the human trafficking trade but we so busy watching this clown biden that we can't we don't know what's going on that's the distraction that's the misdirection right the reality is this in short order y'all gonna hear from chief larry hoover who has to give us a report on the land he got a, co a collective report from all of the chiefs that addresses the grievances of the collective Ain't no big eyes and no little use in this shit. I ain't better than nobody, and ain't nobody better than me. And the ones that think they're better than me can be the first ones to kiss my ass. Right? Ty's my elder, been my elder, gonna be my elder. I'm just trying to pave a way so he can retire from teaching civics in the public domain because he didn't did his work. And now it's time for him to go lay on the beach with pretty girls. That's it. If that's what he want to do. <laughs> so in order to relieve him from his post that he held all these years, I had to do my part. I don't got to do his part. He did his part. I used his part in order to be able to facilitate me doing my part. The same with C. Freeman Eagle. He did his part. He taught me the metaphysics I needed from the perspective of the Moors. Right? The same with Hakeem Bay. He taught me the connection of the people that came versus the ones that's from the land and how they move within the Moore Science Temple. But that's not my first domain. I come from the Blue House. That's my mama house, the Red House. And I had to clean my mama house up in order to honor my mother. And I had to clean the Blue House up to honor my father. And I'm not taking sides. I'm just going to clean this shit up. So that's what we're doing. So they don't have to answer to me whether they think I'm a more or not a more. That's not, I'm riding with Larry Hoover as growth and development. That's been my chief from birth, going to be my chief when I croak. Right? And the ones who are responsible for the Moors is responsible for the Moors. I have nothing to do with that. I told them how they came in, how they blindsided them as Moors Zionist Temple, Noble Drew Ali went in, found out what these dirty bastards was doing, put it in the public domain. So that automatically told um, Tariq Bay what he needed to do, and it told me what I needed to do. We knew who the enemy was, but we didn't know how to, how to identify them in motion, so we watched them for another 100 years. And we made them record everything they did because they was writing the fucking rules and cheating. So now we had a rule book to hold them by. Right, because when we found out they was using Babylonian blood magic, Babylonian money magic, and Babylonian sex magic, we knew that they the only thing they can do is put it in the public domain if they wanted to continue to practice it uninterrupted. But they had to put it in the public domain so that we can dismantle it and put our original structure back together and restore the shrine to the Black Madonna. Right, it's it's not personal. It's just family business. What's going on? Well, Grand Sheik, you um, you're kind of quiet over there, so I'm gonna let oh, you have the. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm I appreciate gonna... this, Doctor G. I, I I've been waiting to talk to Taj for so long, and I finally I... get to talk. That's like um. Like LeBron finally getting to talk to uh, Michael Jordan for the first time. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, this this um, poster that I don't think it's cover. That's the cover to the applied science of the number nine, the restoration of the matriarchy. That's right. The man Ethan, thirteenth queen mother seat. Yeah, that's matriarchy uh, of humanity. You know, I got that posted on my page, letting people know that I know who the good Moors is, but they take me abusing those dirty Moors as if I mean all Moors. 
And I keep telling them all moors ain't bad. It's just the dirty moors I got the problem with. But I still don't have to deal with them. That's for the righteous moors to deal with the ones that's making them look bad. Giving them bad information and purposely misleading them in order to fleece the flock. They know who they is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, listen, I'm not sure. I'm, I, you know, I know we could go on and on and on. Uh, we have over 2,400 uh, in the chat, and so the the, the comments have been on, flowing. Um, let me see. I want to just get to the end. The more, more, more. I didn't. I'm. I've been pulling out some of them, but you know, some folks, like I said, everybody's not going to agree, and, and we don't. You're not trying to get everyone. To agree that that would just that just doesn't that's not natural. That, that's yeah. that's totally asinine to believe. To think, yeah. Everybody don't agree. All Christians don't agree on the same Christian. All yeah. Muslims don't agree on the same Islam. So we all got a different job to do, right? right? The plumber might not know how to do the electrical work. Let yeah. him do the plumbing. <laughs> Let the electrician do the electrical work and let the carpenter erect the frame. Right? If you yeah. put everybody where they supposed to be and they all do their part, we're going to win anyway. Right. We don't have to agree on every single point and every single detail. Yeah. We had somebody in here say that Taj needs to watch it because you're trying to sit him in the back. I don't think that's what you're saying. Grand Sheik is going to do whatever he is. He's going to do what he's doing until he's done. I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know. Let's ask him. Um, Grand Sheik, do you feel like there was a comment that said you need to watch it because he's trying to sit you, the, uh, Brother Rod is trying to sit you in the back. <laughs> so it's he's when, when, when I first started listening to him, I already knew, which I told you. Remember I said it to you, Doc? Mm -hmm. I said he's a cleaner. And I said a duel to a sword. Right. It's going to make a lot of people uncomfortable. Cause he's telling the truth and he's and, and the deal of it is he's taking no quarters but if people pay attention they would they would comprehend who he is right. i recognize who he is as soon as i listened to him for all i need was about five minutes right you, yeah you, and you shared some other things um i i like i said i do appreciate um you both um um, Brother Rod, I recognized you. I, when I gave you the title of the record keeper uh, when we when I first you know heard you months ago. And what and, I tell uh, you? Well, you you told me. I told you the record was keeper was Thaw. Was it Thaw? Oh, I told you. I told you Taj was the record keeper. Oh, Taj. But I yeah. But I you know I felt like you were coming with I don't know what what but Taj says you're the cleaner. So you know. But I recognize bottom line that you have a mission that you're here for purpose you have a purpose and whether or not everyone agrees with you sometimes that would be really scary if everyone agreed with you because you know you opposition sometimes is good because it makes us you know test the metal of what we stand on and what we believe and so you know it's just that when you you know you can agree um disagree respectfully and and some have disagreed respectfully and some As of things have not been respectful but it's their right interjection yeah. as things unfold as things unfold a lot of things that the people have been offended about they're going to appreciate right that's fine that's fine you know and and, and like i was telling you before doc you know i got alligator skin we need more alpha males with alligator skin that are willing to stand up for the truth in spite of the opposition right oh i'm, I'm with the opposition i want to smoke but oh. only if i'm right <laughs> what's that you want to smoke <laughs> I, I want to smoke but i gotta be right yeah. right yeah. if i ain't right i ain't gonna i'm not gonna argue a point knowing i'm wrong mm -hmm. yeah. but right if i know on. i'm right bring it I'm, I'm gonna argue that shit to the end of the earth <laughs> Well, listen, I'm I'm glad I am. I'm glad to know both of you. I'm glad that, you know, I can pick up you know, the phone and and get a lesson. You know, and we have a conversation that goes into I get intel and drops, you know, that for me, you probably have taught it. All. I don't get to look at all of your videos, but I know that, you know, they're making the rounds. And of course, Grand Sheik and I have been working together um, 
gosh, now, uh, I guess 11 years, I want to say 11 years. And so I always have, you know, the, the uh, privilege and the honor of, you know, him being, you know, here and the uh, matter of fact, you know, and he, you know, the work he does, you know, if you ever look behind him, um, that built in, in the, in the, in the, in, in my wall is he built that, you know, I had a big old wall and it was, it was kind of like, it, it had some flaws to it. So he built me some built-ins and behind my, this, this, he is so talented and um, skilled. I don't want to call him. He's, he's, he's skilled in, in a lot of areas and I appreciate him. And while he, you know, he loves to come and, and teach and, you know, the more science, he's always busy, you know, as he says, as being a house doctor, um, building or con reconstructing or constructing. And, you know, yeah, you know, he's, he's, he's going towards that, Eight zero that way, so you know we want we want him to be around for for a long long time. We don't want to overtax him, and overwork him. But when so I think you were and you you know you can agree or disagree, Grand Sheik, but you do agree that when others are coming up, you know what I mean. Somebody had to make space for you, you know. And when you get older, you can do some, and you you can still do this, but you can do less of it because you're gonna do so many other things that you do. So nobody is trying to take our grand sheik's place i know that um I know. That was a big you don't have to work so hard doing the things like you said the this redundant thing said. he said there's more than enough work for all to do everybody do their part do their right. part and freedom ain't free freedom definitely ain't free i know that and i know that and i appreciate that and i hope that you all that are in the um chat will see that and those of you who have you know are saying you know some stuff that is you know probably contrary to what's being displayed here you know check yourself really because um and you know and to the others that know better take note of those in the chat that are always being disruptive that are always trying to stir up you know shit. that's <laughs> one of the that's one of the telltale signs because that's yeah. they have it they right. you gotta, no, no, take note of that you know, so they catch um, a couple of peaceful people congregating on a peaceful discussion and try to sow the seeds of dissent. Mm -hmm. That's their classic. They classic. Get your hand out my pocket after that assassination. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So they tell you who they is by the context and the content of what they saying, right? Mm -hmm. So, like Taj recognized what's going on better than a lot of the naysayers. Right, 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 right. So ain't no replacing ties. Them shoes is too big to feel. But sooner or later, he need the opportunity to experience freedom without having to be the one holding the post all day, every day, teaching this. He didn't travel all over the country teaching the same thing redundantly. I, I, I be telling people he got the patience of a saint. I even, the first time I caught you on the phone, I said, you was with him. I was like, ask him, how do he do it? Right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How do he, how do he maintain that level of calm, redundantly telling them the same civics lesson over and over again from different angles? They don't ask no new questions. And you know what? I will say this, Brother Rod, about Grand Sheik. He, there's a whole, he's so multifaceted, even when it comes to that kind of knowledge. But you've said to me, Grand Sheik, you know, I, I could share this stuff, but basically that's not what they want to hear. They want to hear, they've been pulling out of him the, the same redundancy, but there's a lot more facets and there's, you know, we talk about metaphysical things and esoteric things and all these, you know, things that, you know, he doesn't share with the masses on a regular because that's not what they see him as they see him as that master teacher as uh when it comes to more science but that's a part of more science too but it's that nationality birthright now you know how to get it right how to get you know what do i do paperwork do i not do paperwork do i send the paperwork out who do i send it to it, though who do i sign up with who do all of those things and then they also call because they want him can you do this for me give me each step hold my hand and he's he does have the quote unquote patience of job as we think it you know as of written but he is a kind gentleman and i re appreciate um grand Sheik, i appreciate you um, i'm saying that with 20 you know three four hundred 
folk online. I, I need to say that publicly. And I'm, many of us, I'm sure, will agree that you have done such a service uh, to um, the uplifting of fallen humanity for many years that you've been doing what you're doing. So, you know, hey, I'm, you know, you, you the man. <laughs> and yeah. you can do this as long as you want to, you know what I mean? But, you know, do, and then if not, don't. See, my position has always been this, which you already know as I've talked to you personally. <laughs> and, and and for you, Brother Rod, my patience has been Dr. G knows I got a Frankenstein side of me. <laughs> and I've converted that anger into love. If I wasn't doing what I'm doing, I would have been a professional assassin. That make two of us. And the deal of it is, I put my energy where it'll do this best work. And I found a hammer and nails, and I've been putting nails in that vampire's coffin. And that's what I've been doing. That's why I can do this for 50 years. Until I see the change, and I start seeing other males more alphas stand up that got some testicles and some honor and integrity to get on this battlefield to get Rome off our land. That's my mission. And um, I'm going to send fair kind of a little quick message while we on here. How you like Johnny come lately now, minister? <laughs> <laughs> that's his, that's his little secret name for me behind the scenes he called me johnny come lately because i came at the last minute you came on time yeah but you he came that, on time that's a joke that's his joke yeah that's what we be calling me he be calling me johnny come lately as a joke but it's like he said <clears throat> that y'all gonna see what it all come out to be in the end when they open the books some of the people that was traitors is going to make your draw, jaw hit the ground and shatter. Yup. Because you thought they was really for you and they was really selling you out the whole time. And a lot of them thought they was going to escape. Ain't no escape. You got that right twice. <laughs> ain't no escape. I told you, ain't nobody getting out of here without paying for their dirt this time. See, this was the problem with them wanting to call me out. Because I'm not going to take sides and I'm going to demand that everybody get what they earn, good, bad, or indifferent. And the ones who earn a, a unrighteous reward is the ones that's trying the hardest to suppress everything I'm saying. Using whatever influence they have through these media corporations to try to stifle the voices of the ones who's telling this message. But it mm -hmm. don't matter. It's not going to work. The work is done. We just trying to inform the grassroots to look up. Straight in front of you. Stop dragging your head down. Stop sl slouching your shoulders. Mm -hmm. You got a spine in your back. Use that motherfucker to stand upright. Don't take sides with none of that shit until you checked it out thoroughly for your own satisfaction. No matter what I say, no matter what Ty say, if you didn't do your own investigation, you the problem. So you can try to tear us down all you want. But remember, while you pointing the finger at us, you got three fingers pointing back at you. Right? And all of the ones that's been doing the work, people been calling them traitors and sellouts, they going to be shocked to find out the ones that was really working in our service to help overcome these obstacles, right? So it's not a solitary effort on my part. I, I didn't buy all them books I was reading myself. My sister and my brother bought them books for me. I bought some of them, you know, but all, and then I read a whole, a couple of libraries and different facilities, right? Because I had to come from every angle to see what the anomaly was. And I ended up at 30, Scottish Rite and um, the uh, uh, Knights of Malta and a couple more of them that was instrumental in 
using the secret societies to do secret squirrel shit at the detriment of the masses. They wasn't supposed to do it without putting it in the public domain, so Noble Drew Ali had to go in and hold them accountable for keeping their, all this secret squirrel shit going. Mm. And the way he held them accountable is he all the stuff they didn't want us to know, he put it in the public domain, but you don't know how to read it like a chief. He you said it like a pauper. He said, Drawley said, I've taken the wool off of all secret societies. Now you have no excuses. I'm not using that excuse. I don't got no excuse. <laughs> I did my part. Big Mama said, leave no stone unturned. I turned over every stone I seen. The only stone I didn't turn on is the ones that ain't on earth. Mm -hmm. It don't got nothing to do with me. But all of the ones down here, I told them when the matriarchy took control of China. They wasn't listening to me. They thought I was crazy. I told them when the matriarch on the island started to take over, they was going to start kicking the queen out. They already started. You know what? I, I have a, a brother um, that I, I speak with a lot, and I want to connect you with um, uh, Brother Emmanuel um, in Barbados. And he has shared um, um, a lot of, uh, he's a, a Manuel Barilla. He's in Barbados, very active, has his show there, connects with a lot of indigenous people. There's a, a country in Africa that has declared their sovereignty. He's talking, he said they're speaking the same thing that uh, Grand Sheik it's in, and you were speaking. Um, but he was sharing with me that the, that what they were instituting just this week we were speaking again and he said they were instituting this electronic um uh identification in barbados they trying to they making them bring in if their if their id was older than 1988 i think they have to bring in a birth certificate and they're trying to institute he said all this electronic everything's going to be electronic and he said they're normally the testing ground for a lot of stuff that they bring over here and so they want you know that that's where they their all their bank accounts, their everything they do is going to be under that sort of like China has the social credit thing. They're doing the same thing in Barbados. So they he, he would like to get connected. I'm going to try to connect you all yeah, because, because they have the people have to disagree. Right. If the people don't agree, they silence is the, is the tacit agreement. Tacit acquiescence. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they have to they have to verbally state that they don't agree with that shit. Well, he said that, yeah, I mean, they're coming against it, but I don't know if it's enough, but that's what they're trying to institute. Yes, in, uh, in a part of it is for the intentions of the last, the vestige of the dark priesthood who are being removed in order to shut the people down at will. Right. And like we've yeah. been saying for years, Doc, if it ain't in your hand, you ain't got it. That's true. That's true. That is so true. That is so true. So, um, but again, um, appreciate um, you all taking time out of your your schedules and Grand Sheik, you know, for relinquishing your regular um, third Friday uh, uh, <laughs> to to do this. This is timely. Um, I, 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 we 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 missed the free concert we have here. Look, we had the Clifford Brown Jazz Festival here, uh, and but this was even better. This was better. I would like to interject this note. Yes. With all the people in general, if they place before you a any consent form, don't sign it. The last vestige of the of the priesthood of the corporation is to try to get people to sign consent forms which are power of attorney so they can try to re up their bond system. However, the nation states around the world are no longer buying U.S. Treasury bonds. Know that anyway. And if they impose anything upon you in order to try to create economic stress, sign on it, threat, duress, and coercion. All rights reserved. Right? Sign through it. It'll kill the bond. Right. And this also is the way that they hold in the per diem contract is through uh, W-2s, W-4 uh, tax forms right now. Workforce. Yeah. 
It's the workforce that's going to work every day that's holding them in power. But if they really pay attention, there's a lot of workers walking off the job and the ones that's leaving the job don't always know why they quit. Mm. They just know something inside them told them don't go to work no more. Right? Because that spirit of, of source is going to talk to a lot of people and they're going to be questioning it, talking about, well, how am I going to keep my lights on? You ain't supposed to be paying lights, water, and gas. That's a function of government. They supposed to be giving you those provisions for being the government. That's their job. But you paying for something with your uh, fiat credits, monopoly money, right? So they can keep you playing their game, right? So when we kill the W two W four contract system, that's the last thing that they're using to run their corporation per diem. They on a per diem basis. As soon as they get the critical number of employees to walk away, that's when the collapse takes place. And keep in mind what Brother Rod is saying, and this is why on the re on the flash drive where I did the reversionary statement, know that it is already put in written form. 95, United States Code 95, subsection A and B, all of those debt belong to them, don't belong to the people. And then in the indigenous rights side, they acquiesce their position. And all we had to do was claim the right. And it's right in there using our oral tradition to put it in the public domain. Yes. And so I use our oral tradition to put it in the public domain. Right. What, what Brother Rod is saying right now, and for all those, you know, trolls and, and critics, what he just said, all churches, all civic organizations, etc., were charged to dispense that information out to the people at all costs. And for them to pretend they didn't know what he's talking about is a fraud because they know exactly what he's talking about. Okay. Well, like I said, you know what this has been wonderful um hope you all uh have enjoyed this session would you make sure that you watch it again send this to some other folks so that they can you know share it <laughs> share it share it share it we appreciate you um we have some um events coming up uh we have an event coming up um, Grand Sheik uh, uh, here at the uh, House of Reawaken the Minds in the month of August. We're looking forward to it. Information will probably be out by next week. Um, the 26th, 27th, and 28th, we have a whole weekend of uh, up close and personal a metaphysical a health and wellness um, a fair, a, a meet and greet night, three days. We're, hopefully, you all be able to come and be a part of it. And we also raffling almost 5,000 notes worth of uh, things. And um, it's a part of um, us coming back together with you and our fundraiser to support um, the house um, of Reawakening Mind as we go through a little bit of a transition period. And I don't know who we're going to get to come here. I'm, I'm not saying <laughs> we may have to pull some strings and, and see who all, but, you know, Greg Sheik is going to be there and, um, and Rod, I, I wish you could come. We'll see, <laughs> you know, but, uh, we are, are going to have a three-day event and uh, information will be forthcoming so that you all can uh, take part in that. I'm really looking forward to it because last year we did two and they were pretty good. But this year, you know, we're going to expand it to three days and we think that it should be, uh, it'll probably suffice for the summer. <laughs> I mean, so, there's a, there's but, a couple uh, mothers on the land that I would uh, hope that you would be able to have on Reawaken Minds one day. Um, you just send me their information. You, you you know, just let me know. Just you know, you I know. send you I send some videos. Uh, Chief Warhorse and Mama Bear. Yeah, I've seen Chief Warhorse before. On another yeah, on another show. Yeah, she's she's powerful. But yeah, just send me the contact, and um, I'd love to have them on. Um, we need to be able to expand, and and these are these are you know the our indigenous you know matriarchs that are doing as they say doing what needs to be done. And yes, we need to you know have more exposure for that. So right now, I think the big thing between the mothers is we need a central point of connection across the land for the local mothers who've organized already. 
Right. To, right. To tag in and say, hey, we ready in Memphis. We ready in Toledo. You know, we had the group in Mississippi that you met with with me. Yeah. And, Just like yeah. that. How they how they contacted you. Yes. And so we have to have uh, you. You would probably need some sisters to help you to organize it. But we would need um, a, a common link across the land with the mothers that's coming together to reclaim the birthright to the land. Absolutely. But Absolutely. that's. That's something that y'all be doing behind the scenes while we continue to be trying to educate the people in the transitional system that's in process. Yeah, no doubt. And yeah. let us keep in mind, let us keep in mind, according to the law, the circle of mothers in the different clan territories uh, are, to go, are to come together and project. And whatever they project, it is the duty of the brothers to carry out. The mothers got the circle of mothers got to start going back to the circle, as the ancient ones. And is one of the just a suggestion. You got to do what your intuitive mind says to do. But for some who are not or are less familiar with the culture, go find a good old tree nearby that makes you feel comfortable, and go around that tree. And make your meetings, make your meetings, and make your decisions, and project it out in the ethers. All right. All right. Well, listen, we gonna keep going on, but we're not gonna keep going on. Again, we gonna, we gonna put a we gonna put a pin in this or a comma in this. Um, hopefully, we you know we'll we'll, we'll do this again. Um, also, like I said, I'll be back on Tuesday night. With, uh, with a wonderful guest, a master astrologer sister that I recently met, and I'm excited about her coming on. And um, also, just let y'all know, those of you who follow Dr. G, um, I'll probably be making some changes going forward. I'll be doing office hours with Dr. G on two Tuesdays instead of every Tuesday. I know y'all are all sad about that, but um, there's some things that I got to get done. So the two Tuesdays that we, the, the week that we have you, Grand Sheik, um, I won't do office hours and the off off Tuesdays. I will do that. So we'll have four show for right now, at least through the summer, just so that you know some other things that can get done. But I'm not going anywhere, y'all. I just got to get some work done. You should have a chance to make a peanut butter sandwich. Yeah. So yeah, I got. <laughs> I, I have to do some things. But when the fall comes, um, probably we'll come back to mm -hmm. every week. But starting next month, it'll be two weeks. It'll be the second and fourth. Tuesday and Grand Sheik will be first and third Fridays. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So just give I, you a hand. I up. appreciate you being our connector, Dr. G. Oh, listen, I'm I'm I think that's that's my that's my job to be a connector. And I, I appreciate you know, you know, being able to be in that position that people trust me to think that I know as much as they think I know, but I meet people like you and others who I know. I was like, oh yeah, I could connect him with her and her with her and him with him. And that's what I've been able to do. And I do appreciate, you know, I've the been, respect that I get I've to do that. I've been one of these guys for a long time. I just Listen, didn't know you got You found us happen. on a walk. We were walking. We were doing a live in the park. And <laughs> you kind of, you, you 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 said something. And I was like, is this the real Rod Hayes? You remember? <laughs> I thought it was you. I was like, is this really you? <laughs> but uh, I'm glad you all were able to meet. And hopefully, you know, y'all will carry this out on beyond um, this <laughs> Um, venue and and you know i just say keep doing what you're doing keep doing what you're doing you're making a major impact you know um around the globe and 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 i i much appreciate needed, a much needed impact yes see because this is what it is how nature works see a call is made out to the people to do what they know in their heart what is right you don't have to teach people right they already know in their heart what's right right and see, when they when they insist not doing right, nature sends a cleaner. And that's why when I heard him, I said to you, Doc, Adul, ADL, that means justice. That, that's the symbol of the two-edged sword in a circle. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. And like yeah. Drew Lee said, adepts are born. They're not made. I yield the floor. All right. Y'all, we going because 
if every time we pick up a new conversation starts up <laughs> and uh we're getting ready to get up out of here i'm gonna let y'all know a little bit about some chokeberry <laughs> and uh we are going to uh we're going to go how about that um i appreciate you Grinchy. i appreciate you brother rod so I appreciate you too Dr. I'll, I'll go. <laughs> okay. Give a greetings to the family brother rod Yes, sir. Peace to you. And, and all the family up there, send them our love and all our considerations. All right. I want to give my homeboy Glover Bay in Pontiac, Michigan, Grand Sheik a shout out so they'll know. Right on, good brother. We in here. We know what's going on. Right on, family. All right. <laughs> all right, Joe. All right, yeah. Joe. <laughs> okay. Dr. T inviting you to get your chokeberry plus today it is that amazing berry high in antioxidant anti-inflammatory antiviral properties it supports the and balances the blood pressure the blood sugar weight and cholesterol yes you can get a two-month supply today by texting CB3L to 302-345-0500. That's CB3L to 302-345-0500. And get on the path to wellness today. You'll be glad you did. some GN rooted um, botanical hair growth serum by Sister Lisa Carr. I'm going to put the link down so you can get some. You're going to love it. Man, woman, boy, girl, try this product. I love it. I love it. Just for you, no more living. 